Welcome everybody to Stavi's World. 904 800 Stav. Call in. We'll solve all your problems. Happy to have my boys. I got Derek Gaines. I got Dave Temple in Stavi's World. Thanks for coming, fellas. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, man. Of course, dude. Yeah, no. We're hanging around. We're talking watching Family Guy to go to bed. Mm. One yeah. of the best. <laughs> That's my white noise. Yeah. Peter, Griffin. <laughs> Peter Griffin is my Just white noise. Just seeing Peter's antics. Yeah. Yeah. That's We're talking that kind of stuff, man. Yeah. Just right, you know. I it is funny the the cultural swing on Family Guy where it was like I don't know if you guys remember we're all about the same age, but it was like when that when it first came out, people and it got canceled. I don't know if you were you guys ever the had Family Guy on DVD. Yes, that generation. Is. Yeah, uh, remember? That's where, yeah, that's actually where the falling asleep to it yeah. started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, needed yeah. you. Yeah, that was one of the songs. I need her. Yeah. And that was one of my favorite I remember songs. that one. That was yeah. definitely like in like the DVD menu. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So like once the four episodes would play, yeah, that man. menu would just play over and over again in yeah. your sleep. You yeah, know what I mean? Dude. Yeah, we really are the last of the Mohicans when it comes to yeah, falling asleep to DVDs. Yeah. DVDs. We have we have the we- it is the weirdest generation of how many technologies we've had to get used to. Yeah, man. It was like, but yeah, I remember the box set era, and I remember. It, we basically resurrected Family Guy Absolutely. by buying it on DVD. Yeah, man. All you Zoomers that clip it now and put it on TikTok, <laughs> you have us to thank. You have yeah. us as teenagers. I had all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, and then it kind of went to this like, oh, it's kind of Family Guy is hack. There was like an era where it was like it's got too popular. Seth MacFarlane is a uh, you know he's a loser. He's singing all the time. He's doing mm-hmm. these weird like <laughs> cowboy musicals or whatever whatever the okay. hell he was on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I feel like it's swung all the way back, especially for me anyway. It swung back with like seeing the clips, and you just see a Family Guy joke out of context. And you're like, this shit is awesome. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Yeah, yeah Stewie There's rules. So many that jokes. The weird thing. So many jokes. Watching it, seasons of this yeah. Show. yeah, watching it the way I watch it now is like compilations on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can go back to a full episode. No, you know what no, I mean? no. Like, I, yeah, and I think that's the beauty. It's like a lot of media has been harmed by having to do short clips of everything. But yeah, Family yeah. Guy truly was always cutaways just a bunch of bullshit Them strung together cutaways yeah. Yeah. Is, is so clippable yeah it's, you can put english on yeah. english on a cutaway yeah. and it'll go ev- everywhere and everything that south park made fun of it for where it was like you know so it's like great. manatees or whatever yeah. pick the things that is his greatest strength on in like the current era cuz it's like yeah this shit is random but in a 40 second clip i'm captivated yeah absolutely I, have no, I don't know what the i don't know how they would fit in stewie and lingerie <laughs> In a full episode, but right now I'm like, this is awesome. It's always been that way. Always. I never forget once dating a girl. Her parents were pretty affluent. Like her, okay, her dad was a partner at a law firm. Hell so yeah, we're dude. there for like Easter dinner. Respect. And I'm helping clean up at the end of the night. <laughs> Big house and there's a TV in the kitchen is mounted up. And I'm like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. can I put a little Sunday night animation domination? Like I, I have not missed it since I was a fucking child. Yeah. You know what I mean? Chore. Stop making it a right. chore. <laughs> so I put it on and it says that episode where like they're drinking Ipecat and trying to see yeah. how long they can hold and they're it. All throwing throwing up. Up. That's the vomit right. episode. And and it, that scene literally is on. And I'll never forget <laughs> this yeah. girl's dad, he looks up at the TV and sees them all violently vomiting on everyone. And he just looks at me and goes, this is the kind of stuff you watch? And I'm just like, yeah, man. I promise you, this is a great cartoon. This, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> when Stewie was throwing up so much, he went, I don't want to, I don't want to. <laughs> and then, then Brian threw up on Stewie. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yes! Come on, man. Shit is fucking genius. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. And who is, so you, that girl was like, was that your first rich girl that you were dating? Were you trying to make yeah. a good impression? How? What age are we talking here? Uh, I'm probably this about 25, 26. Okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. You know what I mean? Easter like, dinner, you got, I'm going to guess, a pink polo on <laughs> for Easter. I, I wasn't, no, because I no. wasn't even that classy. You wasn't okay. a pastel I thought, dude. like a no, nice no Lacoste zip up. Ooh, okay. Like a, a track you. jacket. Yeah. The track was, jacket. You yeah, mob henchman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wearing it with jeans. Snickers, <laughs> big pussy. Big pussy walking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. And what kind of... What, now, this because again, we are all in the same generation. Was this? I mean, when I was in high school, it was like the hilariously baggy jeans. Mm-hmm. Are we? Are we past that? Is this like the 
weird faded like uh, nah, Lucky I Brand it. era uh-uh. with, the, oh, with, with all the, the buttons, the all the buttons and scars. Yes, exactly. Yeah, scars. Yeah, Do you have yeah. those on? Plus Less an eye. Rated plus a... I didn't go that far. Okay. Now, the cuts and the scars. I was never a cuts and the scar okay. guy. Okay. I'm the cuts and the scars. Yeah, 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 yeah. You still you got scars on right now? Yeah, scars on right now. I scraped my jeans before they're, I got here. They're understated. This is when a this is when like a lucky brand guy grows up. Just yeah, have a couple on no the knees. There's yeah. no skin showing. There's more jeans. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's planned yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're just talking a nice Levi's boot cut. Yeah. A nice definitely. Levi's boot cut. Yeah, and, nice. and over like big jeans <laughs> yeah. going over tiny little pumas. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, I was yeah. I was definitely like that tall black right, guy. Right, you're like, right. what is he doing here? Right, you know? right, right. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. You could be doing karate or selling drugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's a samurai. How long? Yeah. Baggy ass jeans, little shoes. Yeah. Oh, he's going to kick somebody's head. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I love that, right? dude. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, that's hilarious. I've never... I do remember... I was... I... I definitely did a little, like, cosplaying, because I grew up in Baltimore, you know, I'm trash, just, you know, I'm Baltimore, you know, Greek, Greek people did pretend to be rich whenever, so I had the polo look ready to go when I was dating, I dated a, an American girl, and I went to her place for, like, Thanksgiving and shit like that, mm-hmm. and, like, you know, for us, it's like, you dress up a little bit, but you also, like, we would bring changes of clothes to Easter, because we would have, like, pickup games and we would oh, have okay. like you know every, someone's grilling so they're getting dirty or they're, okay. does somebody have a pool like the one rich family we knew mm-hmm. uh, would like host Easter and it would be like this all awesome like you'd have your nice outfit but then we'd go you know so when I had That's to like dope. at least it's fun to it, it was yeah. no dude fun. it was it was the best having mm-hmm. like pickup games with like old ass Greek men who yeah. you know there's like you people have like bad knees it got to the point where people would like bring at the first year it was just like a fun little game and then people were like bringing like sweatbands people were like you know bring sl- knee sleeves you know what i mean yeah. like oh shit yeah Got under armor shit yeah 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 start bringing under armor out yeah yeah start going ooh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. oh god these yeah. things got chance exactly <laughs> exactly dude people have choreographed shit and then but if it was my family dude we were in fucking sweats like it was like not bullshit so like i know that feeling of trying to impress like an early girlfriend, like in your early mid twenties, where you're early, like, early, you I'm lying. Shit yet. Yeah, college girlfriend, all that kind of stuff. I would have, you know, you know, I'm trying to be polite. I'm Here's eating how. turkey for the first time. We were we were a lamb. That's how Greek we were. We had lamb for Thanksgiving, not yeah. turkey. So. I know that feeling, bro. Yeah, it's and tough. Here's the thing. It, I wasn't ever intimidated by it. I think, if anything, I was more ignorant Yeah, to it. you didn't know. I, yeah, I never picked up on classes and stuff like that. Yeah, like, yeah. I'll never forget. They went out back to smoke cigars, and I joined them with a black and mild. <laughs> A, be- a beautiful metaphor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one of these people likes their Jimmy. doesn't like their father? Let me guess. <laughs> the man with a wood tip. How come nobody else's lips are purple? Yeah. Why is nobody else's lips yeah. purple like mine? You're asking them to match. <laughs> 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 You're like, whoa, her dad's cooler than I thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll put I'll put ten on it. Hey, I'm a guest. I think he did. I remember he did like me though because we were from the same neighborhood. Okay, right? okay. And that was like I literally grew up the block behind her dad. Gotcha. So even though I was just a ghetto piece of shit, yeah, yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I like this kid. He's from the old neighborhood. Right. You know what I mean? And he could tell I was authentic that way. So all of my Faux pas. That's nice. That's yeah, nice. Yeah. He he knew exactly where I was from, and he was just like, "Yeah, whatever." I he grew it. up in the neighborhood before they destroyed it, before they redlined it and destroyed it. <laughs> he was like, he was the generation before White Flight, yeah. and he, he joined White Flight. He was a black guy that was like, "That's so funny. They're on, yeah. they're on to some here. Definitely, this, this yeah. man is worthy of fucking my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> He's from the old country. Like he was in the neighborhood when like a couple Italians and Jews still lived there, like before the last, the last." <laughs> Right. Yeah, <laughs> he definitely made it out. Yeah. And I remember him <laughs> introducing me to someone that way. And yeah, like he, yeah, he's a young man, but I think he gets it. Yeah, I think yeah, he's yeah. one of the guys that gets one of the it, good so. ones. Yeah, come on, yeah. <laughs> come on, man, come through. Yeah. Which, What's your good ones? To an extent, <laughs> to an extent he's right. Yeah, I'm not still there. So yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. And you grew up in Philly. Mm-hmm. Nice, hell yeah, dude. I love that. Yeah. That that is a fun thing because it's like you do think about the the people that leave and they do have a fondness 
for like I do that. I meet a lot of people from Baltimore that are like or went to my high school. Yeah, you know, and it's like they'll they have like a pride even though they are so far away from you know being in the Baltimore I grew up in anyway the nineties and two thousands Baltimore they were already in the burbs. Okay, and, yeah, but it's fun. People always do have that pride where they want to be like, oh, I was because there is a little bit of like. It's still cool to be from a place that was shitty. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's cool I'm to from make the it the suburbs out. already? Yes, of yeah. course. So nothing counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Derek, famously cul-de-sac black. Come yeah. on. <laughs> we were in the sta- we were at the stand every weekend yeah. together for two years, it feels yeah, like. Yeah. I know your act, brother. Right. <laughs> I've changed up since then. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a couple... Pre-pandemic, though, dude, we it's, saw each other like every a weekend. Yeah. 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 Cul-de-sac black. I was working the That's case out. That's great. I like cul-de-sac. No, I'm not shitting on it. There's no one else... You have never heard yeah. those two words put together by anyone else. I love it yeah. because, in fact, people would go the opposite way, yeah. and they would pretend. And you easily could have. You could have gone I that way. I listen to a lot of gangster rap. So yeah, I, was yeah, born, yeah. I learned early never to pose. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Don't yeah, do that. Yeah, and yeah. plus, I started comedy in Philly right. with a lot of honest audiences. Right. So if you was going they in there line, and they you. eat that shit right up. Yeah. So yeah. They could smell the PSAT tutoring on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And dance yeah. classes <laughs> and music classes. Yeah. There was another thing when we started, because I started out with Derek down in Philly. Yeah. Another one that was a weekly thing that I used to see every week at the open mic was I just crossed the bridge on the DP. The mm. dimes and pennies. You know oh what I mean? God. So he used to always bring up this joke about like I'm not from the city. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. had to pay a five dollar toll to right. come and do this mic. <laughs> right, right, and right, I'm right. so broke I paid the five dollars in dimes and pennies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. 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 That was an old that's old three. That's yeah. like yeah. three Ooh, that's class old three, vintage. Old four yeah. 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 <laughs> Jesus. That's Ooh. awesome. So your family was basically the guy they were like had more in common with the lawyer dad. <laughs> like your your like you you guys were in the burbs. Burbs, because my grandma was well off. She drove for the SEPTA buses. Hell yeah, dude. But she was like a token cop, so they made more money. Big pension, union, gotcha. all that shit. And this is before any of that, so union sure. was thick good. No, unions, yeah, 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 no. You, dude, yeah. America's fucked because we've taken unions out. Like, yeah. Pe- like, regular people with unions were able to afford... Sh- like, being a SEPTA driver, it still should be the same way, where yeah. if you have a fucking job that you show up to every day for fucking 40 years, yeah. you should be able to get your family... Like, it should transfer generationally, but now we've got it. Unions, everyone's fucked, but it's nice to hear. So she was driving. Driving, so she had a nice little house, nice little, uh, like, duplex. People lived up... Jewish people lived upstairs. There we so go. I knew it was like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, you know... In Philly still? Or still in Philly. Philly. This yeah, Northeast. Yeah, yeah. That's when I'm a young man. And gotcha. my mom got her money up slowly but surely. Apartment, apartment, apartment. But on the other end, my dad was doing okay in D.C. Gotcha. So I was one of the divorcee kids. But there I was living go. the pop life and my mom life. That's nice. And they almost competed for my love. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Single only kid in the family? Yeah, on my mom's side. My, gotcha. my dad had a daughter, my, my half-sister. But she was on with her she mom. She was in D.C. or with her mom. Oh, not With her mom she... in like either D.C. or Germany because it was Air Force. Oh. Air Force setup. So yeah, that's man. a nice setup, by the way, to knock someone up and her daughter. Your daughter just has to go to Germany with yeah, her? and live with the mom. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. it's like you're, that's smart. It's like no, I'm. I'd love to be in your life, but you know, I'm in America. My pop was a flight engineer, but he also know how to engineer. Yeah, family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was looking at the schematics. He was like, "Let me take a look at a blueprint of your pussy." <laughs> Let me see. If I drop one off here and one off there, right? I should be good. That's yeah, enough. Yeah. I'll cover my bases. At least I got a fly to go see these motherfuckers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. So you were, so you, uh, so Philly, DC is not Philly Burbs with your mom. Philly, Northeast Philly, and then okay. I moved to uh, South Jersey. Okay. When I was like uh, 15, 16. Nice. So, yeah. Hell yeah. Said it was always a nice time. Nice. From Philly to Jersey. Our transition was never bad. We yeah. all, me and mom, because I got a small family. Like, I disowned all my uncles. Nice. Like one of them died, and then it's just me, my mom, my aunt. My you dog. got disowned? No, like, I disowned Oh, you them. disowned that, I was going to say. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah. yeah, so it's just us three. Nice. It kind of works out. And on Love my that. dad's side, my dad and all my family over there. But yeah, I kind of focus on the, the two on that the, I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Keep a tight focus. Yeah. You, did you ever spend any time in D.C. or no? Oh, uh, just to well, visit? Pops, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah. I always visited because it was like we lived in Philly. My mom would drive halfway, meet at the Chesapeake house. Oh, wow. My dad t- pick me. I was a highway kid. Damn, we know the Chesapeake house. Yeah. Yeah. That's all in Baltimore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Stop by the Chesapeake house yeah. and then go to D.C., hang on my dad for the weekend. So I had that balance. <laughs> That's I was so playing funny. catch. 
They were trading you, know, you off like it was a drug deal. It was what? <laughs> like, <laughs> and they do a handoff at the burger king. They hand me off the burger king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Like, <laughs> Derek, go sit, go sit in that in that blue Le Saber. <laughs> Don't talk to anyone. Your parents never did. They never did. Went hand yeah. to hand. All right. Here's, the, like, quor- gotta- Here's some quarters. Go sit in the massage chair. Yeah. <laughs> get a wait, crab cake wait, at Phillips. Wait for your father to get here. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, that's awesome. Dude. No, that was that was basically the come up. I got yeah, you. I was spoiled from both sides. That's so awesome. That's like like that's what I've always said. Like my, I'm I'm working on a bit where it's like my parents stayed. Like it's my parents stayed together, but it's like I wish they had gotten divorced. Like you want the competition. Mm-hmm. You want to, like you want them to fight for your love with attention and material things. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. I want a Nintendo and an Xbox. You know what I mean? Like I want I'm them both. Yeah, 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 see, yeah, yeah. That was I had the exact opposite. Okay. Where both of my parents, they split, and they were doing pretty well, but neither of them were competing <laughs> for my love. My dad yeah, was like, my love. I'll pay what I'm supposed to, yeah, yeah, yeah. and when he comes and visit, we can do shit, yeah, yeah, but yeah. that's it. Yeah, and yeah, my yeah. mom, she just kind of got frustrated being a single mother, right, you know what I mean? Of course, like, of course. Just like, right, whatever. So. Damn, dude, yeah. Any stepdads or boyfriends or who was in the mix? All right, this, this feels weird to say, oddly enough, too, because it feels like I'm trashing my mom and today's Please. her birthday. Oh, but- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, this is gonna come out later. <laughs> Boy, so funny. We'll have a so, month or two yeah. in between. <laughs> My mom dated what I can only describe as DMX. Okay. Okay. For six years. Okay. A bark bark motherfucker. Bark bark. Okay. bark, bark. In and out of a jail. A violent man with undiagnosed with a, mental with a illness. Serious mental illness. <laughs> Serious crippling drug habit that it was like steal a cop guys, car on a Wednesday. This guy is clearly let's go steal a cop car. This guy smokes crack yeah. during the day <laughs> in my mother's my car. School like, in this stolen cop this car. This guy drops me and my mom off and takes my mom's car, and he's smoking crack with his friends in the street when he's supposed to be looking for a job. That was six years of my oh father my figure. God. That my other dad, my real dad, just casually like, hey, whatever. That's not my problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like y'all deal with that. Wow. And then the saddest thing that I watched my mom deal with later was she she would try to date after Ricky was gone. Right, right. But the guy awesome name for a guy like that, by the way. And it's awesome because that Ricky, no matter what race, is a piece of shit. (laughs) (laughs) Like like black Rickies, white Rickies, Hispanic Rickies, Rickies. any Ricky. Russian Ricky. <laughs> Dead hookers are his carpet. <laughs> Mullet, right. like fucked up oh, cornrows. Ricky. Yeah. Whatever the haircut is, yeah. Ricky's a piece of shit. <laughs> so then you watch my mom kind of. Did he have of straight backs? Up. What did Ricky have? Ricky was bald, but he oh. wore toupees. Oh. <laughs> a crack smoking no. toupee guy? Yeah, buddy. Not a like, toupee and they were. <laughs> They were really strange because they were really (laughs) curly toupees that gave him a non-black look. You know what I mean? He had Dominican hair. Yeah, he's a black crack addict. This guy would put on a and he would become rock and roll Lucy's husband. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it It worked. It did work because I know there was one house. I one day I went with him on one of these crack missions. Like okay, because my mom she got dropped off first because she had to be to work earlier. Okay, yeah, and then he's supposed to drop me off at school and some days he would just look over and be like you don't want to go to school do you <laughs> <laughs> like you give me this decision to make at six now i'm rolling yeah. with you you yeah, know what yeah, i mean yeah, and yeah. so i got to see Damn. what life is like with a crackhead take, crack head take your child to smoke crack day <laughs> right and there was one house that we used to go to i lie to you not this lady's name was mama louise hell mama yeah louise. she was an old lady that was in the kitchen and like he would go up. There was an other kids there, but he would leave me and go upstairs in the smoke room, and they would they would get high and blast music and play yeah. the congas and shit like that. There's so other the kids there. Bop, 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 it's crackhead daycare. Uh, Is that what I you're think saying? those kids live there. I'm not yeah, 100 okay. percent sure. You know, when you're like five, six, you don't ask questions. Yeah, you right. just see other kids. You see I mean, the sandbox in the junkyard. Right. Yeah. So we'll it's like the little bar. room they have in Ikea yeah. while the parents are shopping. It's like, <laughs> it's like they have fucking exactly what they it was have like Sesame up. Street yeah. on TV. I, these kids, I would have great times. I don't remember any <laughs> of their dope. names. I never saw any of them. Wild fun with Again, them dirty if ass I saw kids. them today, <laughs> we wouldn't fun. even know each other. Yeah, of you know course, what I mean? Of course. They the um, best fun. <laughs> and then when he was when he was gone out of the picture. It was weird my, watching my mom grow up and trying to date again. Right. But the caliber of guys were different. 
Right. They were more respectable, more responsible guys, and yeah. she didn't like that. Is it fucked up knowing now, like, like you, you ha- there's no other way to make this, um, t- there's no other, like, way to look at the data and not come up with Ricky had awesome dick. You know, like, does that, does that... I talked about this on my oh, okay. first album. <laughs> That's what it was. At one point, Let's Stavos, be honest. Your mom was getting her point, shit knocked out, Stavos, dude. At one point, I walked in the room to them taping sponges to the back of her headboard. Because he was to knocking that the pussy sound out. Of the headboard, just boom, 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 boom. And when I'm said, asking him, why are y'all doing that? He we need answered, to put shocks on he the head. Answered <laughs> for her, Stavros. So you get some sleep, little nigga. Like that. That was the answer. Do you understand how good you are when a woman lets you talk to her son like that? Yep. Wow. So Holy shit. It was weird wow. because the other guys that came later that were like more responsible, yeah. homeowners, guys yeah, that drove yeah, nice yeah. cars and dressed nice. They were softer, and then my mom went through this weird phase of like married dudes. Ooh, wow, interesting. Ooh, that was bad, man. Damn, like that dude. was bad, and yeah. it started to affect me because I remember being in middle school. I have to talk about this on our podcast. Yeah. I used to say karate. Okay, okay. me too. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, I was Sherman. good. Yeah. I, was, I made it to a brown belt. There I was you go. Ready to test for my black. Yeah. My mom started fucking around with the karate teacher. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn, and Dave. things got awkward, and I, I had to say, get pulled out. I say, damn, Dave. <laughs> Holy and shit! It was just, and Come he was on, married. Mommy. He was married. He drove a Porsche. <laughs> you can't shit where you kick. You can't shit where you kick. <laughs> Let me Fuck. get the. Yeah, that's yeah. fucked up, dude. You can't and, shit and where it, you it, kick. It would just be. Yeah. yeah, it would just be. And like, I wasn't in my mom's business, but you that's would know. Wild, you would know Dave. when there's the no shit way to happen. not be in her business. Especially, I'm a kid. I'm always in the living room on the floor watching TV, Good and then God, people would just knock. Come through, and it got to the point where, for me, I just kind of became numb to it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you got like, it. Dude. You're disassociating because they would win. They would try to win me over. <laughs> oh god! There was, yeah. I remember there was one dude, this white dude, who didn't get it. He was right. like trying to bond with me and yeah, like yeah, bring yeah. me snacks and toys. Uh, he used yeah. to call me Shaq. Oh, <laughs> I was like heavy and yeah. big. And he's like, oh, oh, man. You would be like Shaquille O'Neal. That's like, hey, dude, just go upstairs oh. and fuck my mom, dude. Go upstairs. Oh. Get it over with, dude. You like Charlie from Always Sunny, nigga. Yeah, yeah. His mom, his mom was so nuts. Well, that's with that awesome. Shit. But I mean, she had a right to live her life. It was Absolutely. just it, it was, to a point, yes. <laughs> when it's costing you black belts. Hey, <laughs> 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 To be the title of the episode, Costing yeah, You Black yeah. Costing You Black she had, Belt. She had a right to live her life. Fucking sure, with a dude but, with a gi on. Yeah. <laughs> he had a gi on. I still, huh? I still can't get Ricky's toupees out of my head, dude. Yeah. That's an awesome guy. Ricky. Yeah, man. Damn, I want Ricky on the pod. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know if you're still, if you see him. Uh, that's uh, fucking shit. wild. Yeah, wild. I mean. So were they, did your parents like get married too young? Is that what happened, or, or like have you young? Or oh, shit, this sounds so bad. No, man. dude, I love my mom, but this sounds so bad. No, yeah. she's, first okay. of all, your mom rocks. <laughs> okay, <laughs> she's a rock star. Your mom rules. Rock star. Okay, to be like, yeah. yeah, look, my son. Like at some point, she did the math and she was like. I probably fucked him up with Ricky already. I might as well suck some Mary Dick too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <laughs> my, mom, my mom had her own issues from her bo- yeah. her mom and dad. She's of course, dick, that's crazy, always how this crazy. happens, right? So, but one of the things. All right, so my my dad, yeah. like his dad, Air yeah. Force dude. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. In fact, my dad was always jockeying for me to come and live with him. Um, my dad lived in Jersey, 10 minutes away from this Get guy. The we fuck probably would have been friends That's if I ever crazy. took my dad up on yeah. it, but I never wanted to leave the city. I yeah. wanted to stay living in squalor with my mom because that's all I knew and that's you're like sorry with. sorry, these married guys bring too many Welch's <laughs> grape snacks <laughs> I was like I have too much shit going on here crazy. so literally <laughs> the so way funny. my mom and dad meet right yeah my mom is out at a bar with her friend her and her homegirl they went to high school together they homies yeah and this dude is trying to fuck Air Force guy yeah, but she he's trying to fuck my mom's friend. Oh, oh my God, dude. And <laughs> the lady wasn't interested in my dad at all. <laughs> and my mom, she goes, hey, 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 you can, you can get this place. <laughs> oh, and he's like, <sighs> right. Hey. 
<laughs> so which he did, and you know they was they fucked around a little bit, but you know what I mean. Like they, it wasn't supposed to go this far. It wasn't supposed to go this far at all. God damn, God damn so you're a survivor, my, my nigga. This is awesome. Right? So <laughs> yeah, yeah. you were born. you were meant to exist. At right. Least, Here's you know? the thing. I'm yeah. born. Yeah. My mom's an absolute basket case. Of course. My dad has to get away. Yeah. Like my mom, like she's a fighter. Yeah. Like my mom will start fights. In the street, yeah, and yeah, yeah. puts my dad in an awkward position because my dad's big, tall. You yeah, know what I mean? And it's yeah. like, hey, <laughs> yeah. this lady's gonna stop get me talking killed. so much shit, right? Yeah, so yeah. he kind of pieces off. And what's even crazier is my mom's best friend realizes how much of a catch my dad is. Oh my god! And they end up getting married <laughs> <laughs> and having a nice suburban no, life dude. in New Jersey. You're the so, rough draft child. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Oh, no. no. Again, you a rough draft. There's so much animosity. You the first pass. Between my mom. <laughs> yeah, dude, that family got punched up. <laughs> they're, like, <laughs> they're like, hmm, I don't know about this uh, right. squalor. Why don't we try suburbs? Uh, right. I don't know about uh, that. Right. Come on, Dave. Uh, yeah, my dad ends up being married to no, my mother's dude. best friend for 10 years. <laughs> no, what the fuck? So, Great. You want to talk about like that that <laughs> drop off point of my mom she's never going to Jersey. Oh dude. My mom never went to that house. You of know course, what I mean? Like course. I didn't even know they got married. I knew that they were dating. Oh, I knew my they fucking, fucking god. That's Literally, cold blooded. I, like I didn't that. see my dad for a while <laughs> and then one time I did get picked up and instead of going to North Philly we go to Jersey. Right. And right. like Miss Jane is there and there's like a big picture in the foyer of them two and a wedding picture and I'm like Oh, okay. You know, no what I mean? one like ran that by you, dude. Nobody ran. There that wasn't by a me. warning because I'm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure my mom shut. Because I watched the same thing happen when I started. When I had a kid, yeah, and it broke. Same. I followed the same cycle. My first mm. baby mom is my mother. Uh, you know I what see. I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. so did you end up marrying her best friend? <laughs> <laughs> I scared all of her best friends. Up. <laughs> yeah, man. But when I was, I was engaged to be yeah. married, and that upset her even though right. we were done for years yeah, and yeah, my yeah, daughter yeah, had yeah. to watch yeah, the yeah, emotional yeah. effects of her reacting to me being engaged on social media you yeah, know what I mean? yeah, it was yeah. like oh wow yeah god damn dude that's fucking yeah, wild Are you, is your dad and, and Miss Jane still together are they? no <laughs> they did 10 years okay. and then they split and then my dad was just a bachelor just slaying puss at the church Respect, until the day dude. he died, man. Respect. <laughs> and fucking four, five XL purple pastel suits. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a bowler hat that smells like I'm pussy juice and cocoa gangster. butter. <laughs> great gangster. <laughs> Callaway type <laughs> shit. Move. Come in here, bitch. Dude. Yeah, my dad, he did it pretty good. He slayed puss. Hey, girl. <laughs> he, uh, you know what to do. <laughs> he oddly Bring it all home. <laughs> suki, 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 so bitch. Oh, that rules, dude. <laughs> nah, but he, he, he like, oddly... Contracted like Alzheimer's like 55. Oof. And brutal. then he checked out at like 62. That's which, a tough one, yeah. No, I don't know, man. Like, because here's the thing about tall people. One, we don't really live that True. long. We got German you know Shepherd I mean? hips. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to see a tall person become incapacitated and need to rely on short people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah. Short people don't handle as well. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's the revenge. It's like you're tall, you get to burn bright. You get to get more pussy. You get to, but it's like it's ending fast. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah, I mean, Alzheimer's is just tough in general, though. Just to see a, a motherfucker go like, just start to lose it. Like my, definitely my grandma had like, her. She had some fucking dementia, and it's just like, and even my other grandmother now, she's just she doesn't have that, but she just has the like. You just if you're talking to her, you have to remind her what you just said five times in a row. Yeah, mm. but it sounds like your dad got a nice little. You know what I mean? The end was nice. Dude, my dad was from my dad is from the Richard Allen Projects, which okay. is the same house and complex as Cosby. Him and Cosby oh, grew wow. up together. You know I hope I mean? that's where the similarities end. <laughs> <laughs> right at those projects. Right at the gates of those projects. I hope he never. Yeah. Those projects. That's so funny. That's so funny. Keep going. Right there, just right at the gate. Do not go across the street with this thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. 
But yeah, yeah. man, like he. I, I would mean, try and find a different guy who grew up in those projects <laughs> now yeah. to say to give you the. <laughs> have you ever heard? If, if you if you ever do a search, yeah. any listeners do a search on the Richard Allen Holmes? Yeah, it's. Yeah. No one good has come yeah, out of here. Yeah, like yeah, they yeah, torn yeah. those projects down yeah. and made them into townhouses. But okay, yeah, it's okay. a wild thing. I got thing. you. I got Richard you. Richard Allen Holmes. Yeah, Ooh. but uh, he got out. You know what I mean? Probably, right. he, he enlisted in the Air Force like during the Vietnam War, Oof. while most black dudes was getting drafted. Of course, of you know course, what I mean. And he got himself educated. Came, learned electronics, and we talking about he joined the Union right. when he came home. That was the one thing my pop had that was amazing. Because he had spent so much time around white folks in the military, he was able to work a square job when he came home. A lot right, of black right, right. dudes, I, ain't, I can't deal with no cracker talking like that. Yeah, it's yeah, weird. Yeah. Like, but my yeah. dad, he could do it. So he was in the union. Well, if he enlisted, he probably had a better, he was, he was better off as opposed to, like, a lot of guys got drafted, got so fucked. Right, They were, right. like, thrown to the worst situations yeah. and, like, you know, treated fucking horrendous. So, And my dad was yeah. a DNF student who spoke with a stutter. <laughs> wow. But due to the Air Force and his... Electronics training in the union. I'm telling you, he's made like 90, 96 thousand by the end of you know Good what I mean. Him. Like yeah, yeah. as a DNF student from the projects, who spoke with a stutter. That's amazing. He was a homeowner, yeah. everything. Yeah, so yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, you know they did it. Yeah, did it. yeah, damn dude. That's fucking, and it all, all it took was just practicing having a family once with you and your mom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's that. He was also a DNF father. It sounds yeah. like. <laughs> He got it up to C plus with his second family. <laughs> he fixed the stutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Just left. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. Funny. That's hilarious. That's hey, funny that's funny. Yeah, no, but hey, listen, I got a, I got a D plus dad myself. I got, I've, I have the, I, I say I always have the best shitty father. Uh-huh. Where it's like you know he was just abu- you know he was abusive, but he only hit us a couple times. It was more yelling, and if you got to get abused, it's like. Being scared is better than getting the shit kicked out of you, you know? Yeah. It's like, and he cheated, but he only cheated after. My dad, like, <clears throat> was fat as shit. Both my parents were kind of, like, in this fat, loveless marriage. And then he had a heart attack, and he lost so much weight that he was like, hey, I could start getting pussy now. <laughs> oh, it, wasn't wow. like, it wasn't like, wow, I have a second lease on oh, life. It was wow. like, I should start cheating. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, you know. First yeah. of all, I like to say, I love watching a man realize that. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, love, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love watching a man sit in a dark place for like years yeah, and then yeah, wait, yeah. wait a minute, if I just, just do second. some push-ups, yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I tighten my chest up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Give uh, her something to touch on. 100%. Yeah. 100%. About that. He had a second act as like, uh, you know, and he's a carpenter too, so he's like physically and you know he's a strong guy. And it's yeah. like there's definitely an archetype for like you know older yeah, yeah. guy. Guy he was pretty handsome. I mean, we were broke. He didn't have any money, but it's like I remember going to his fucking like his um, my car uh, got a flat right outside of his workshop, and okay. I was like, oh perfect, I'll just pull over and it'll help mm-hmm. me fit. You know, because our our other family friend had an auto body shop right around there, so <clears throat> I just pull up. I'm like, oh great, and, it, and I almost felt like. Hey, you know what? This is kind of nice. Like doing some dad and son shit. He'll like like because we were like, like me and my dad don't have a good relationship now. But I, I was that was at the age where I was like kind of I was starting to feel like I grew up and I was looking at him as a as a man instead of just my dad. And I was starting to put the ma- do the math and be like, wait, I don't think I respect this guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, so shit. it was like so it was like I but I was still like trying to like and I was like and part of me was like. I was literally remember thinking like, "Hey, this is kind of cool. We'll, we'll like I'll change the tire. Maybe we'll even hang out." Like I was have like a rare positive moment about okay. my dad. Yeah. I, I thought it was almost like meant to be. It's like, what are the odds I get a flat right here? Like literally, it was wow. like I get the flat and I turn right into the thing, and I turn in and I'm like, "Yeah, pa." I knock on the door and he's just like, he opens the door like a little bit and he's like, eh, eh, what, "What are you doing here? What's up? What do you what do you need?" And I'm like, <laughs> "What do you talk? I got a flat. Like, could you help me?" And he's like, "Um." Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, come on in through. And he opens the main, it's like this big workshop, right? Okay. And there's these big, like, bay doors for, like, um, for, like, uh, you know, trucks to load Deliveries. shit. Yeah, yeah, and then, but there's, but there's an office there where, like, usually we go in, yeah. right? And it's like, he, he puts, he, like, oh. does the bay door so I would go in through the, like, he right into in the there. workshop. He didn't have a bitch in there, but yeah. I was like, but he had the the remnants of a bitch in there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where it's like, and I go to his office, like, and I used to work with my dad, right? He would do that thing where it's like, I'll, I'll teach you the 
kind of it was like a scared straight program for immigrants where okay. it's like go to school or you'll do this mm-hmm. you know so it's no, like no. in the summers i would go i was a horrible employee i literally just didn't do shit i would like sh- i would pretend to be shitting for like 40 minutes and i would just be in the toilet in the bathroom doing nothing <laughs> yeah yeah so one time i stole you know how you know how like uh construction workers and contractors they have like just you know, tits everywhere. They have like weird, like <clears throat> for whatever reason, they have just porn everywhere. Yeah. I would like steal porn and beat off in the bathroom <laughs> while my dad, while my dad is like working. You know, like, and I would also just go into the the thing and like watch. He had like one of those little fucked up TVs with the antenna and shit. Yeah. And all we got was UPN, and I would just watch Martin instead of do work. <laughs> you know, so that office meant a lot to me because when I was like leave, you know, when I was yeah. like being a lazy like fucking kid, yeah. I, I spent. I actually had fun times there. You know. And so I go in there to get a fucking like drink. Uh-huh. It's like he had he 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 always had like brisk. He was a brisk man. He always had brisk iced tea. I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and have a little brisk while my you know oh, okay. fix this shit. And I go in there, dude. And the office there is straight up a futon that has been folded down to and with like like covers and like he made a straight he, he made a bed in his like <laughs> carpenter office. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. opened to get the fridge to get some drinks. There's fucking wine. There's cheese plates. There's like a fruit. There's like a fucking like like yeah. an edible arrangement. Like he yeah. was about to get like awesome. Po- like he was about to sneak around with whoever his mistress was at the time. And he was like, "What are you looking around for?" Like he was like doing that. She was like, "What? Well, oh, what are you, what are you nervous?" Still, he's still married to your mom. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, they're no, married. Okay, they're okay. married. And he's like, "What?" He's like, "What? Your mom?" He literally said, "Would your mom send you?" And I was like, "What?" Jesus. Wow. I was right. I was like 24. Wow. You know what I mean? Here like, to see my wow. father. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was it was the one one year after I went, I moved home for a year. I, I was in college, and then I stayed in my college house with my friends for a year. And then money got tight because I, you know, I was doing stand up, but I wasn't doing shit. So I moved back home for a year to save up money to move to New York. And that was the year that I lived with them again. And that's when I was like, oh, this guy fucking sucks. You know what I mean? Like he, he fucking, he's like, I just don't like. He's the kind of guy where it's like, if he wasn't my dad. I bet you I would get along because he's funny. Like we have, there's certain things I definitely get from him. He's right. a charismatic, charming guy, but you know he's just kind of a, kind of like you got uh, to know too much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. like sometimes you don't need to know all that shit, and that's like if they had gotten divorced, it would have been better off. You know what I mean? Like yeah. then it's like yeah, he's got some like stupid Russian girlfriend. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's got some. He would definitely be dating a trash woman that yeah. took care of. Like okay. my dad is completely incapable of taking care of himself. Okay, he would have gotten a new woman to, to look after oh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, i mean yeah, like yeah, it would have yeah. been fine i would have i would have been able to put it together but yeah just fucking hilarious yeah but stuff. that was pretty common in cities like baltimore and philly and stuff yeah, like yeah, that yeah. like if you yeah, had a dad yeah, yeah the chances of him being a good dad yeah yeah your dad, dad was yeah. flying in and out and you don't yeah. know your dad that well yeah, yeah. <laughs> i don't know you as a hero to me I don't know the scandal. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. All I know is he flew Air Force One. Yeah. Right. 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 Which is a good way to go. That's the That's good, awesome. Yeah. No, exactly. my, pop, my pop made it. He kind of taught. If, if your father's taught you anything, my father taught me how to be a showstopper. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I remember yeah. my class trip. I was fucking, I think it was fifth grade, sixth grade. And we went to D.C. Yeah. And I called him and told him where we was going to be at. When he figured out where he was, he pulled up to the museum. Like, he yeah. fought, came up on me. What do you do? What do you do? Yeah. I look back, it's my pop. But here yeah. come the fly part. So my ma- my mom gave me permission to leave with him out of D.C. Right. Off that, that you know, that highway shit. Right, right, right. So I remember everybody, all the kids getting back on the bus, right? So as they're getting on the bus, my pop pulls up in his red BMW. He's had it since 80, 83, so right? Sick, yeah. Pulls on his red BMW. And out of his and in a box he has uh, presidential M Ms because at the time he was flying for Clinton. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. This motherfucker pulls out the box of M Ms with Bill Clinton's uh, signature <laughs> on it, starts throwing it to the kids on the bus. <laughs> Niggas are like, "Who the fuck is this yeah. dude?" And I was like, "This my pop." Motherfucker. And then we left in the red beamer, and I said, "I put my finger up to the." Film. That is wild. <laughs> I was like, "That's awesome." Yeah, so that's what I. But that is a great lesson that you can be an absent father eighty. 85% of the 85%. time. 85%. But you got to crush that 15%. You pull up with yeah. M&M's from Bill Clinton <laughs> in a Beamer? I don't even care. Let me yeah. tell you something. Fresh off beating the Monica Lewinsky case <laughs> when Bill was unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was yeah. bombing Kosovo at the yeah, time. Yeah. He was 
Like, yeah. suck on this, Slobodan Milosevic. Yeah, that was, was when great. Bill was fucking had all the sauce in the world. It was hot dude. 90s. Yeah, right before 9 11. That's, that's how I'm doing, I handling the second half of fatherhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, in yeah. it and I became depressed, yeah. angry, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And me and my ex, we split up. Now I'm the cool dad that That's parachutes awesome. in when I have a show. Yeah, hey yeah, guys, yeah. I'm making money. We can do whatever you guys right, want. You right, know right. what I mean? And because I'm not there, it's like whatever your wildest imagination is. You yeah. know what I you mean? You know what my like, dad used to do? Beat my mom every time I visit. Go karts. Yeah, <laughs> That's he huge. would take me go karting at yeah. one of the big uh, joints in like DC. Yes, in between no, DC sick, Baltimore they Highway. They had sick like yeah, setups. like go kart tracks. So yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's my dad. Yeah, yeah. Go-karts. This is great. This is like a this is a this is a deadbeat dad <laughs> crash course right now. How <laughs> 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 to be the best deadbeat dad possible? Just <laughs> have a good energy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can be miserable. Great energy. Just as long as you're good on your weekend. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. How many comics have careers of good energy? Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> dads can do the same shit. Yeah. Good Absolutely. energy, good call. It's true. I mean, that is we like in life, like just your your vibes are so important in terms of even every other like skill, even at a job, at a like who you are, person to person, interpersonally is the most important thing. Even more than any other skill is just how do you feel in the like in each moment. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's it is very you know it's really important for sure. But that's interesting. So you were, so you spent, so you also spent most of your time with your mom then. With moms, but nice. I would, I, but I did visit my dad frequent. That's sick. Until though. I hit my like twenties. What's then, the? What's the? Yeah. And then it got like lighter and lighter because as a kid, sure. You know, but, but that, but what was it? So you're, so you, so you, we, we've already gone through Dave's, you know, uh, childhood where he was at. What was it? What's the? What's the burbs like with mom? Burbs with mom was perfect. You had a stepdad too, or no? No, my mom was single. Okay, so it was, it was yeah. So it was wow. kind of hard for me. So I was single too. Yeah, so I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna be out here with all these chicks. Yeah, but no, me and my mom, we did okay because you know it was just me and her. Yeah, and then when my grandmother died, it was just me, my her, and my aunt. Gotcha. And uh, but oh, so you were kind of raised by yeah, a group by, of ra- women basically, r- group of ladies. That's awesome. So, but you know, because it was just me, I was spoiled. And then my right. mom worked all the time and worked all the time. Right. But she'd always motivate me to go out there and figure out comedy or whatever. Go yeah. with your friends and all that. Yeah, yeah, go yeah. be like, go That's be a awesome. vibe. So That's yeah, awesome. it was it was always fly. You know, just, you know, front lawn, back lawn. We didn't really, we didn't want for nothing. Yeah, it was just yeah, like, yeah. I really, we had it going on. So you had like, it, I, one of the, in uh, another bit, like, like I said, literally we were at the stand all the time. You would talk about smoking weed with your mom. Is that true? You, that's true. You really would just fucking light that's up That's true. Moms? After a while, because I would get in trouble at first, but then when she saw that I was just pot because she thought it was, I was going to do other shit. Right. And it So you happen. were going to go Ricky mode with yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, bro. <laughs> It's so weird though when we turn pull into up. A Ricky. Like yeah. if we're in the area and we stop past his mom's house and his mom just comes down with a rolling tray. Like, <laughs> like the same way someone offers guest cookies. Yeah, hey, you guys yeah. want to smoke a joint? You're like, wow. That's right. sick, dude. <laughs> you really have a beautiful setup, Derek. Yeah, man. Like if I could write how I'd want to be raised. Yeah, man. Truly, because like the other thing is dad who's just there, because like dad who's just there enough to give you confidence and cool shit and like bring no negative like angry father energy okay perfect and then realistically i think everyone i know who's raised by like groups of like who like either single mom or like you know mom it's like it's you relate to women much easier you have less of like a like you're like i would assume it was easier for you to like talk to girls have girlfriends earlier because everyone in your life is like a lot oh, of stinking you, girls yeah. into the house. Yeah. A lot of stinking chicks in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Whereas, like, for me, it was, like, I was fucking nervous. Because, like, you know, I, my mom's the best, but it's, like, she's the only, like, real, like, female influence in my life. Yeah. I, mean, I had my grandma, but she's, like, my grandma lived with us, too. But that, it was, it was just, like, but my dad was just so, it was just so much of my dad there and so much of, like, just sports and all this other shit where it's, like, I just, and all my friends were, like, guys. I didn't have any... You know, like someone who's got a cool older sister, I feel like they always do better with girls. Yeah. Or like, you know what I mean? Or I feel like if you have like mom, aunt, gra- like you just you just do better because you're just less scared. So I would yeah. I would honestly have set it up exact if I yeah. designed how I want to be raised. Yeah. It's like be raised by Derek. Be raised, by yeah. Derek yeah. Gaines. Get get the Derek Gaines fucking yeah. setup, dude. Smoke right. and your mom's smoking weed. She's cool. She's cool. You know? My mom's like, a whole vibe. <laughs> she invites all the homies over for Thanksgiving. We always cook big. Awesome. Dude. Me and my mother have crab lake fights. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like lightsabers, but yeah. we use crap, yeah. king, king yeah. crab legs. We, we have fights. Take that. Yeah. It's going to be a good dinner, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking God, sick, I love dude. not struggling. Me, me, we, didn't, we didn't struggle. So what do you think the single thing is about, though? Never never had a fucking... Because my mom, you know, my mom's classy. You, you think know. she was sneaking around here that day? Yeah, she did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, subs. Oh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the upper class, they don't even mean to poke like yeah. that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> They're just saying things how they are. <laughs> they don't realize what they're yeah. doing. Yeah. Oh, mom, this cough cookie butter. <laughs> yeah. Like, Derek, like here's, this is what I see, and I get this vibe even when I go to Derek's mom's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If my mom would have met Derek's mom... Mm-hmm. They probably would have been friends for about a month. Right. <laughs> and right. then something would have happened where my mom would have looked at her different. Yeah. And now yeah. I just don't have that friend anymore. Right. Like that right, was right, right, right. we like like he said, his mom invites us over for Thanksgiving. My mom has never done Thanksgiving. We always house hopped. Oh wow. And we would go wherever whoever she was fucking with at the time. <laughs> right, right. So right. there's like <laughs> Damn. They're There's scandalized. No- Bro. They're just clutched as pearls. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Dave. Jesus. Like, you were savage. It is to the point, to me, the holidays, they have, like, even when I even when I do get invited to his house, yeah, and, yeah, I, yeah. and I know the invite is genuine, of yeah. course. I don't like going because it it just feels so reminiscent of, right. oh, they're Ooh. just taking us on. Damn. Oh, like, the people crazy. Who would feel, I see that, yeah. The people wow. who would feel bad for Tony and her that son. That motherfucker got Thanksgiving oh, PTSD. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Because, like, I didn't know. All right, my first few Thanksgivings at other people's houses, it was very embarrassing. Sure. Because I was raised like a goddamn savage. Of course. I'm used to eating on the floor in front of the yeah, TV yeah, yeah. in the living room. Yeah. They take the turkey out. You just run up, take a bite out of it. <laughs> <laughs> You're on right. all fours on the table. Right. Like, putting so, yams in your like mouth. Like the dogs yeah. at the Christmas store. I don't know. Bro, I don't know Shoot nothing you about. Bitches. <laughs> I don't know nothing about chewing with my mouth closed. Yeah, I don't know yeah, nothing yeah. about elbows not on the table. Of course. I have no. You were here etiquette. on the half shell. Right. Yeah, yeah. And my mom would turn on me. Oh, because when sucks. somebody at the table would be like, "What's up with this young man?" Yeah. And she, "Yeah, you don't know how to eat at the table." And I'm like, "Bitch, we never yeah. eat at the table. Yeah. We yeah. 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 Our table is cluttered with shit. Yeah. We yeah. eat yeah. on the yeah. floor. You yeah. know, like so." I didn't like that awkwardness of sure. like I am the outcast. I get that. I mean, because a That's holiday, real. a holiday in if you if, if you really think about it, should be you're at your most comfortable yeah. with the people you love the most. Yeah, you don't have to pretend anything, right? Like, and that's why people on the other side. I mean, you have, like, one extreme, and the other extreme of why people don't like holidays is, like, because families can be, they have their own kind of fake bullshit where it's, like, all mm-hmm. the politics and all the pretending to be happy, right? The other side of it. But it's, like, somewhere in the middle, the perfect holiday is you're feeling good. There's no stress. You know, that's why I do, me and my brothers have started doing holidays where it's, like, we would do Korean barbecue Thanksgiving. Okay. Where it's just me, we would just go out and fucking get things, you know, like, hang out. Friends would do it, like... You know, we hosted Christmas here once during the pandemic where it was like Eldis, because me and Eldis have been friends since we were in kindergarten. Nice. And, uh, and, and like we have another friend, our other friend, we were literally me, Eldis, and our other friend. Uh, we've, been, we've known each other our whole lives. One of my college roommates lives here. We've all been friends for like 15 years at this point. So it is kind of that thing where it's like, I'm with you. I, I was never a big holiday guy because cause of the other extreme where it's like, it's not that we like hopped around too much. In fact, we would go, other people would host, but they were like family friends who, I was like, why do I feel more comfortable with these people than my actual family? Right. You know what I mean? It's like, these people right. are, are just nice to me. No weird strings attached. And then, you know yeah, this I mean? is where it would get weird where yeah. I wouldn't want to go because I don't want to go experience a nice home yeah. and then come back to this shit. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I would hang out with my mom and sometimes my mom would get like, like dangerously drunk. Oh, and man, then, yeah. like, all right, it's time to leave. And it's like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my well, wife's on the line right. now. <laughs> now I'm the kid raising hell because I don't want to go home with my mom. Right, There's right, nobody right. there. Like, she's not going to wake up tomorrow. Like, I'd rather stay here where all the fun is. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Of course, so dude. it'd be that kind of thing of, like, prying me away from these nice houses. Like, that's the vibe I get when I go to Derek's house. I'm going to get there like... <laughs> Nice house, man. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Ask my mom if I can spend the night. Damn, oh dude. shit, you're you got a kid anymore. Yeah, you you got to go to therapy, bro. Nah, you got to work through this shit. Yeah, there we go. 
There it is. Fuck that yeah, shit. Yeah. I'm fuck that there, shit. There's the man who just, used to have uh, hot just, Cheetos for dinner yeah. as a five year old. Yeah. Yeah. Five years old, waking up with monstrous heartburn. Yeah. <laughs> Taking a Prilosec <laughs> before second grade. <laughs> I am exactly the man my mom wanted me to be. Yeah. Right. All right. Acid reflux, yeah. first grade. First grade, acid reflux, third class. God damn. Oh, Dude, fuck. Derek had put me on to some shit that just fucked my head up. We were talking about this on the podcast Monday, and you, yeah. I, you didn't even realize that this was an eye-opening thing. But I was discussing how when I was a kid, my mom used to like leave while I was outside mm -hmm. and then I would just be locked out. Wow. It's you know crazy. what I mean? Like yeah. I would just go outside to play with my friends and I yeah. might come home and place is locked. My mom is gone. Crazy, dude. And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's your mom. She was just testing you, like, you're making sure you can take care of yourself. They kind of do that on purpose. That's old Philly shit. My grandmother would have done the same shit to me if she'd have got a chance. And I'm like, fuck. Like, I never even thought about that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, she was just kind of grooming me always throwing these weird hiccups, you know what yeah, I mean? Man, yeah, and yeah. Once you punch your spear her, and go kill a lot. Yeah, right, right, right. Like, once yeah, we yeah, had yeah, her on yeah, the podcast, yeah, yeah. I called her and oh, we talked about so this funny. shit. And my she mother put me out when I was up. 15, right? Like, I got into the streets okay. and started doing all... Because yeah. even that self, that same aspect... Yeah, you're going to fucking start acting up when that's your childhood. It's not even... It was the selfishness. It was, like, the same way I was saying I wasn't spoiled. Yeah. So we didn't really want for anything, but I wanted for stuff. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. the kids in the neighborhood were able to show me, oh, well, you can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I began to listen to the streets. So my mom put sure. me out. And we had her... Uh, she called in on the show. I called her from the phone and put her on. And we asked her, like, yo... When you put me out at 15, what did you think was going to happen? Right. And the craziest thing that my mom said was she was like, well, yeah, yeah I mean, it was extreme, but I, I, I knew you could take care of yourself. Damn, dude. That's, that's <laughs> fucking retarded. <laughs> that's it is, not... but it's some like warrior shit. It's like, yeah, kind of shit was like, except this was 2002. Exactly. It's not fucking. It's off the time. BC is off. 300. Yeah, it's the time is off. She did some caveman <laughs> shit yeah. in the year 2000. She did some caveman hey, shit. Yeah. But yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah, I you'd Little be okay. Flip was on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't need that fucking. You didn't need the Flip fucking. Flip was on the radio. Boom, 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 boom. Game over. You didn't need to make your son a scavenger. <laughs> she really sent you out of kill wolf. That's why I enjoy having friends like like Derek and it because they don't they know that about me, but uh, they don't judge that. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah. You can still come in my house. You can still look around, and we'll yeah. still invite you to <laughs> just grab dude, a crab leg. I know grab you, a crab you, leg. Your fucking bar for is like love is so low. It's hilarious. Oh, yeah. So yeah, they treat me with baseline human decency. Yeah. I'll let they let me the in the house. Go straight to the backyard, <laughs> bro. Which is so funny bro. because literally Elder. Like we, I've told we've told a story on the, on the podcast a bunch, but Elders is Albanian and Greek people and Albanians are like Greeks are racist towards Albanians. Okay, okay. and our other friend's dad is a fucking like hick Greek, like mm -hmm. a villager. And literally for the first few years of our friendship, Elders was not allowed in his house. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I was that kid too. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh -uh, that kid steals. Yeah, Don't yeah, 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 yeah. I do steal. Stealing. Yeah, but I do steal. You right? Straight facts. Facts. Now what you gonna do? Pass the fucking rice around. <laughs> I'd be in the alley outside the fence in the backyard. He'd like bring me a juice box out back after right. school. Right. 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 Juice box pass. And here's the thing: oh, you're a retarded uncle. Here's, yeah. here's, here's the thing: food under the yeah. door. Yeah. Most people can't tolerate that at all. Yeah, you yeah. got to learn how to deal with it as a kid. Or like, oh, okay, I'm on the outside. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. that's the one thing I don't take ostracism or rejection personally because I'm like. Right. Oh, I know what that is. Damn, know? dude. I was yeah. invited to every pizza party. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me VIP. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had yeah. all the pizza hut. Yeah. <laughs> it is That's weird. Give me the crust. <laughs> <laughs> it is weird. Me and Sal like talked about it. And I was like, even back then, like in second grade, like it was happening. And like, we kind of just didn't think anything of it. Like we were all just matter of fact about well, it. It's kids like, are pure oh, yeah. still. It's like, yeah, so-and-so's dad is just weird like that. You know, just the yeah, thing yeah, he's yeah. got. But well, this is Albanian. <laughs> I mean, he does have a point yeah. like my family's cool but i could see i could see both sides of the issue okay yeah. you know <laughs> yeah no it is fucking wild i mean that shit will absolutely fuck you up but yeah what are you gonna do it sounds like you're dead set on not working through it so hey whatever <laughs> you know? I'm, not I'm pretty good with people right no no no, yeah. no you're good i'm just saying 
trust me, there is a couple like that. Just even what you just said about um, holidays, that right there is like. I know. That yo, right there is like therapy shit, You know what I just did shit, for Easter dude? that was so great? What's that? I went to an NBA game. That's my first time doing that. That's I'm like, sick, dude. This is great. Yeah. This is a great way to spend Easter. It really is. And I do think the secret, if you don't want to go to therapy or whatever, the secret I do think is creating your own relationship with holidays, right? Because it's yeah. like, if you're, when your child is fucked up, it's kind of up to you to like, okay, well then I'll set up what life is supposed to look like. Okay. It would be nice if we had, you know, if we had some kind of tradition, I'd be nice. But when you realize like, well, that shit's just not in the cards. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. I'll be like, I learned Bobby's a great resource for that. Bobby Kelly. Cause it's like, he had one of the most fucked up childhoods possible. You yeah. Know, very, very reminiscent. Uh, like while he's in fucking juvie when he's like 11, you yeah, know, his mom yeah. kind of the same thing had kind of a shithead, you know, abusive stepdad running around for a while. And he, his big, like, epiphany was, like, at a certain point, you can't stop worrying about your dad because he's like, well, I'm the dad now. It's yeah. up to me to fucking figure this shit out. And mm -hmm. he, he says, anyway, when that happened to him, it was like, oh, yeah, I decide, you know, he makes little traditions with his kid. He decides how they, you know, how they do things. He, he hosted Thanksgiving, you know what I mean? Like, you okay, might, yeah. maybe that's the way you defeat your demons is hosting a nice Thanksgiving So one I year. tried that. Okay, I yeah. have tried when I had, I had a nice house yeah. and, you know, we're doing the family thing. I was engaged. Listen and to this shit. <laughs> we, um, Listen to this shit. I already well, know one of the things about. that I just, I realized, like, I don't have that giving thing. Sure. Of watching family come over and just kind of tear your shit up. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, like right. now I'm just noticing like all of the little movements around the house and I, I, that wasn't for me. I you see, know what I, I mean? See. Damn, you got bro. motherfuckers ripping shit off the wall. Like one of the things that fucked me up bad as a kid, my mom became a hoarder. Right, mm. so our house was bad. Yeah, you know what dude. I mean? Smoking cigarettes, the walls are dirty, all that stuff like that. Yellow so, film, right? Right. Just, right. The yellow film. Just imagine those guys coming in to fuck your mom <laughs> while you're some fat kid is in the fight, just sitting Indian style around a pile of shit, that, around a bunch of fucking okay. McDonald's Happy Meals toys from ten years ago. <laughs> me, that is hilarious. But let me clarify: those did not overlap. Okay, okay, those okay, did not okay, overlap. Okay, okay. Like ninety six. My mom got sick. Uh, My mom developed this disease called scleroderma. It was very rare. Only other person that had it in our neighborhood at the time was Bob Saget's sister. <laughs> Damn, like, dude. So this is like 1994 before Damn, Saget Hippolos. couldn't get the fucking family out of the hood. Couldn't even move Couldn't even move more. All that full house money. Couldn't even get out. Yeah, that was what was wild about it. Like, that's that a bitch. This is, a, and I think I look back at this. This kind of fucked my mom's head up. Go ahead, Dave. Like you're being told yeah. you had this fatal disease. Yeah. And someone else who's pretty like attached to someone notable just yeah. died from it. There's no right, cure. Right. Then my mom Damn. and Saget's sister were seeing the same specialist Damn. at Pennsylvania Hospital that was like investigating Damn. this disease. Y'all are pioneers. New. Wild. Dude. So yeah. my mom, she kind of really tapped out because they gave her a death sentence. They told her 99, you know, Damn, is a rat. Bro. She never, she persevered. She's still yeah. alive to this yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. But that's when the Fuck hoarding started. Yeah, right. Yeah. So for me, I'm the, I'm the absolute opposite i'm the extreme if something isn't being used in 72 hours it's going in the trash I you know what i mean though. like yeah, yeah, yeah. i want everything nice clear out of the way and clean and it made me hyper vigilant where hosting events at my place that i keep it's it, it fucks with me mentally yeah yeah i get that dude i mean it is like you do sometimes you just can't shake right. certain things like, i would do barbecues in, in the park there we go. I used that's to do fun. big, big barbecues yeah, yeah, yeah. for the whole bring family. It, bring all the meat. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. can't come in my house, but y'all can <laughs> tear my side. Y'all can tear my side. I'm a good I person. Feel you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me put no. three hundred dollars worth of meat on the grill here. Yeah, family. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but y'all yeah. uh, go home after this. I got you. Know? you. No, that makes sense. Well, this is great because we we got we're about to take some questions here, and this okay. I think this is nice because we all it's, we like to have different perspectives, and it is hilarious. You guys could not have. More di like we have the exact mirror opposite <laughs> childhoods here, and it's like yeah. we, we got a night we got we're getting it from two different yeah. points of view here. So and before we do, we like to do like a little plug mid. So you talked about the podcast a little bit. No need for apologies. Absolutely. No need for apologies. No need for apologies. Go listen to that. Anything else? You know, follow our friends here 
on socials, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Fellas, if you want to plug I'm that. I'm Dave Temple on all social media platforms. Cool. And the podcast is NNFA Podcast on all social media platforms. We and drop every Sunday on YouTube for free. Come check us hell out. Hell yeah. And uh, I'm at the great boy, T H E G R E A T B O Y. I That's got right. it when like Instagram first started. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, and uh, that, that, me and Dave are on the road all the time. We'll be in uh, Saratoga Springs next week and then will be this shit is TV. coming out yeah. later motherfucker oh yeah so, never <laughs> so yeah so there you go great boy on everything we're, we got yeah we got to fucking hit the road uh next month so we're pre-recording a bunch okay but, cool All but right, yeah cool. come see i mean these guys are fucking hilarious go see them live uh follow them listen to the pod and definitely see them live G- great shit so eldest why don't we why don't we do some fucking calls here babe okay some calls Hi, Stavi. Uh, this is Ryan. No, dumb motherfucker. It's not playing. Hi, Stavi. Uh, this is Ryan. Uh, love the podcast, everything you do. Um, my question for today was, um, me and my girl have been together for quite a while. And, you know, throughout the years, you know, always had some pretty good sex. Um, nice. But recently, I can't last more than three strokes. Wow. Um, I don't good know buddy. what's going on. Recent. Um, looking for your advice. Thanks. Love you. Keep coming. Whoa. Recently, he's been with his girl for a while, and all of a sudden, he busts fast. Yeah. I wonder what that is. Do you guys have kids? Maybe it's your biological clock. <laughs> Trying to make sure you nut. <laughs> it's like, damn, dude, we got to get... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Fire and strength only. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I'm tired. I'm tired of ending up on her back. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, your nuts have gone sentient. And they're yeah. like, we're busting this they're pussy one himself. way or another. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got the AI nut. You got the chat GBT nut. We're going to do this for you because you're better off. That's yeah. pretty wild. What the fuck? This is wild, dude. Um, Three strokes, huh? <sighs> Yeah, I mean, what has changed in your life? I think would has something happened? Like maybe you're just more comfortable with her now. I don't know. That's fucking. That's an interesting the thing. Years, yeah. How many years? Because that's what I think. He's probably comfortable, and you get selfish. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, Listen, yeah. I know what I want. Yeah. And you take too long. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, so you're yeah, just yeah. like, hey, either you get it or you don't. <laughs> interesting. Has this ever happened to you guys? Have you ever had a change in how fast you nut or any kind of thing in a relationship? No. No, but I do know how to fix it. And this is something okay. I learned how to do back Well, let's in the go. Day. This is perfect. Dude Kegels? Yeah. You're going to do the dude Kegels? It's kind of a dude Kegel. Uh, dude okay. Kegels. It's kind of. <laughs> you guys are going to like, like it. Amigo. I already like know I'm going to get so much pushback on this. <laughs> not it. I already That's what know. this show is about. I already know. Right, okay. On. But edging. You guys ever heard of edging? Sure. Oh, Almost shit. bust. Right. So get right. You got to work it right until you're mm-hmm. right there. And then you got to take the, these two and you got to smash Pinch. right at the base, right by the, <laughs> the base of the shaft. You're going to feel it. There's a big, there's a big vein that you got to, you got to smash that. You got to cut that off. The vein. I think I know the vein you're talking you're about. You're going to feel it. Yeah. You're going to, you're going to feel, you're going to feel that semen pushing through, trying to, and you're mm. holding it back. And it'll hurt so the first So you need a Tostitos oh, yeah. back clip. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> to keep from the scoops Now, I'm going to tell you this. Yeah. yeah. Your first first few times it is going to hurt <laughs> but that negative association with climaxing will postpone it oh interesting wow yeah, so yeah. you're pavlov's dogging your brain <laughs> absolutely into thinking nutting is bad anybody if you want to be a goddess in the bedroom mm-hmm. this trick i promise you it works i forgot where I learned it as a kid, but sure. I practiced it. From that white guy that was calling you Shaq? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Come here, let me, let me, That's let me all I got for that. <laughs> listen, is, he goes, Damn. He goes, hey, listen, young man. I can tell by your situation. <laughs> you're going to need some soft skills when you grow up. <laughs> you have to have good dick. This you will pamphlet. not have developed the right personality. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this come up, you're going to have to fuck your way into some homes. <laughs> Yeah. So this is what you're gonna do. This is a pamphlet on edging. Yeah, it's a pamphlet. Uh, God very damn. Funny. Well, there you go. Give well, it a right. try, man. That's and good. Please, right back in. Let us know yeah. how this works out. We for do want to know. I did, the, you. did the temple method work for you? Um, <laughs> this simple. is. Just, I've never busted faster in a relationship, but I have. There is something too, like when I was actually in love with a girl, and that's happened like twice. Where it's like some real, like, and I've really liked people, but there was one time, and literally we broke up, like. A month, like after I finally, I was in this on again, off again relationship, and finally it felt like things were going good. And that last month before we broke up, dude, I swear, like 
I was getting harder out of love, and it was just like, like my dick was literally, gr- it was like the Grinch's heart. Okay. <laughs> when okay. I was in love, my dick got Hilarious. bigger. She was literally like Hilarious. making comments like, what the, what's going on yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I don't know, this rocks, <laughs> you know? And then, of course, we broke up, it fucked me up, I haven't truly loved a woman since, but. Wow. Uh, that was you know, but there, there was That's something to that. Know. There's only, a, there's only a few. Uh, it was actually a girl's hip game. Oh, Something interesting. she did. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I know what you mean, <laughs> yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Am I alone with I'm this, fucking too? fucking with shades on. <laughs> when you care about a girl. <laughs> That's how you know she's doing a good job. Wow. <laughs> you, keep your, you keep your sunglasses on to let her know, Shit. to provide feedback. <laughs> and this ain't no regular now, pussy. Now, that's it? good pussy. <laughs> what is she doing to me? Now, that's what I call pussy. <laughs> you can't buy that for a dollar. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look, buddy, we gave you, you know, try the temple method, let us know how it works. Try that temple method, Ebal. <clears throat> Here's with another one, Big Eld. Hey, Saw. So I have a brother who is 22 and socially anxious. Mm. He lives at home with their parents. Um, we're together, but it's more like roommates and immigrant shit. My dad's really toxic and hey. mentally ill. But anyway, when I last spoke to my brother, right he's getting into martial arts, but also really toxic stuff, like Andrew Tate and all mm. these right-wing Twitter, like, quote-unquote intellectuals and philosophers and you know i disagree with their understandings of socialism and cultural viewpoints anyway we talked about it and i tried to be open-minded but he was just kind of awkwardly synthesizing what he's heard and it was making really weak arguments and i just don't think he has the acumen or intuition to realize that these guys are all hack so i want to push him in the correct direction because he is a sweet and compassionate kid and if he is a conservative so be it but What's more important is that I were in the real world, he'll, he'll isolate himself further with um, just new friends and people and women by the way he brings these things into conversation. And he's a sweet kid, you know. I, I realize that he has potential. Um, but, again, I'm just, like, worried that this will just make him into a toxic person and just at a loss. Thanks, Dov. That's a tough one for sure. Cause, I mean, Very tough. <clears throat> uh, you know, you get... Like if you're like this like awkward kid and you just see some guy who like that's the problem with these fucking Andrew Tate guys and these other like these other fucking like TikTok like like workout like yeah, guys Myron's who, and Andrews and all them guys. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like to an eleven year old boy, like they're like if you're a grown man, you're like, these guys are fucking stupid as shit. But if you're an eleven year old boy, you're like, Whoa, this guy is He's good at karate. He gets pussy, and he has fast cars. Yeah, and you're like, I'm listening to him. Absolutely. You know what I mean? All we had was Last Action Hero. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and like, I, I mean, that is why these people. That's what's really dangerous about these people is that like they are. It's almost like made to apply to these kids who are. Because, I mean, I remember being like, you know, me and Elders were fucking losers. We didn't get any pussy when we're like 12, 13. And it's like, who did we even look up to? Is kind of That's interesting to think about. What were we into when we were like that young? I think probably what helped us, what helped me anyway, as similar to your, you know, similar to your brother. Um, I think this, what's good here is like, I mean, if he's bad, if he's like into all this stuff and he wants to be like, you know, athletic, all this other shit. I mean, I really do think sports are a really nice like saving grace for kids like this like even if he has to play in a shitty like rec league or even if he just plays in like with his with people like I would push him towards organized sports honestly because what these guys get right is that yeah you want it when you're a little kid you want to be strong right when we're yeah. all like 11 12 Absolutely. you do you, you want to have like a you want to be you you idolize masculine stuff that's who you want to be and for me I was definitely one of these kids who I was like a theater Little kid. Okay. Like, I was in, like, we and Elders were in the fucking school plays in elementary school. I was literally, like, in elementary school, I talked my way into emceeing the talent show. Okay. I didn't want to do the talent show. I wanted to literally be, like, I've, I've, I've wanted to do comedy since before I even realized it, you Me know? Me too. Yeah. I feel that. And, I feel yeah. that. I used to do it at summer camp. Yeah, exactly. And so I had that shit, but, like, when I turned 10, 11, 12, I remember there being a moment where I was like, I'm going to stop being in plays and I'm going to play sports Uh. and i think if i hadn't if i had that thought process from like 
art is I literally was like art is gay like that's literally what I thought okay <laughs> I was like yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. I, I was like our drama teacher's gay he was turns out he was straight he had like a gravelly voice but I thought you know he kind of talked like Harvey Firestone oh, and we're yeah. like he a dumb when voice you're too. like a dumb who actually I loved which that's the irony it's like I loved great. I loved uh, Mrs. Day? Doubtfire okay. I like I like he was hilarious but like when you are kind of in that toxic yeah. 10 year old boy mind frame and this is also you know 2000 whatever yeah if I that's I, thinking back on my own development at this point, and Eldis never did. He was he was a nerd who read books. Uh, I was just like, I went into organized sports, and that did give you a sense of camaraderie. Mm. It gave you like a, you had to like you know you had to like uh, you teammates. You want to take that now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You had teammates. You had like you learned about community. You learned about like, and you made friends in a natural way. Yeah, even if you're not good at it, right? Like, and it teaches you like. If he has a good coach, it teaches you the value of like work hard, improve, get better, all that stuff. So if he has that in him, I can know because I had that in me. And what really helped me was playing organized sports. I was in rec leagues where I was better. And then I also played in in my school leagues where, you know, I was solid. Um, and it's funny how much. And then I also played in my church league. I played mm. pick up hoops. Like it's funny thinking about how much I don't know about you guys. But for me, sports was so important to me as like in this age range and um i think it could really help him like get some of that like energy out there as like as like you know hack is an uh, uh, uh like uh answer as that is it's like because that's what these guys are providing for like internet kids right kids mm -hmm. that don't play shit it's like yeah they, they provide that like like that again the masculine kind of macho kind of like physical outlet instead of going and playing sports or working out or whatever, or even if you do work out, like, they, it's that mind frame. So, and they have connection to a community with these other little Andrew Tate, you know, dumbasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> I think that's like your, if he has that in him, I would push him towards something like that. Um, you know, support it, you know, channel it into something positive. Sure, because, sure. you know, obviously I never, I never fucking went pro, but like my, some great relationships started that way like yeah. you know a lot of my good friends and you legitimately learn teamwork all that like my kids will play sports for the or like even if i have like nieces nephews like i would push them towards that kind of shit because it does there is something nice to like a generation that grows up online they want to use their bodies they want to be like you know thought of as like attractive whatever and it's like you're gonna have that physical thing and it's like i think pushing them towards sports is like a big can be an answer towards that. That's for so sure. funny. Yeah. I remember I was playing ball, trying to try off all the teams, and I sprained my ankle, and then I start break dancing. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking but awesome. Wean him off of it too. You, this is not a cold turkey thing where you're just gonna cut off all yeah. of the podcasting and go full yeah. sports. Just slowly introduce him to other things and allow him to excel Play catch. there, and yeah. you'll watch this thing not be as fulfilling and eventually drop off. You'll hear about it less and less. But yeah. you gotta... Kids go through phases, man. Yeah, and you can't react True. when there's still remnants of this thing that is influencing him heavy right now yeah. at 22, you yeah. know? Yeah. For Shit, sure. I was wearing fedoras. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm oh, fuck, he's that. 22? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I thought the kid was like oh, a 22. teenager. Fuck, yeah, that's no, the other thing. 22. I think she still sees him as a kid, which that's the thing I hear. She still looks at him as her sweet little brother. Fuck. You know what I mean? And That's he different. may have already different. grown up that motherfucker grown. into being Fuck. who he's going to be. You know, because it doesn't sound yeah. like she has that much influence over 22 him. 22 is tough. Yeah. Let him go try yeah. to be top G and then see what yeah. happens. Yeah. Yeah. Fall and off and and That's the thing. You kind of got to let him make his own decisions. fall off that man, horse. You know? Yeah. So he's getting into martial arts. Fuck. So he's already kind of doing this shit. Damn, I, for some reason, I thought he was like 14, 15. Because the way she's describing him, he's still You're a right. sweet boy. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. He's still a, and you don't know that. He might not be. At 22, boys, we get into some shit that, loot, that it knocks that little sweetness off of us. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's, for sure. It's, it sucks because he is 22 and he's like a few years are just going full on like conservative politics, like <laughs> yeah, bringing yeah, up yeah, fucking yeah, abortions at yeah, the Thanksgiving yeah, yeah, table yeah, yeah. and yeah, shit. So. Up, nigga. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, Fuck, that's hard. That is Especially hard. when your dad's a piece of shit and sounds like he is. And yeah. you, can you can just tell, like, in her voice, she's just, like, so big sister, so, like, smarter than him, and yeah. so, like, yeah. sure of herself. And she's like, I know he's a retard, but, like, what can I do to, like, just, like, steer him away from this shit? And 
You know, she's just like sitting there while he's like throwing these points at her from like Andrew Tate and all these other yeah, internet yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is tough. Just but. parroting bullshit he's heard. I mean, look, I hate to be this guy to plug the show, but I do feel like the one thing we try and do around <laughs> here is so like hard. say vulgar shit. Understand that guys like saying fucked up things. Like, yeah. there's a like my whole the whole thing I'm trying to accomplish here is like, yeah, you can say a fucked up joke and still be a ba- borderline good person. Yeah. yeah, you can have your friend over and make fun of his mom for all the crack dick she got and still be a good guy you know like that's that's kind of what we're trying to do here yeah. because another problem with this conservative shit and another problem so with like you can get some sleep yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dave what the fuck but, but yeah. I, I do I do think like I'm about to bring that joke back. That's a good joke. That's a, good joke. a real good joke. It's a great joke. Oh, but I do. Shit. I also think some of the like, like, and we go through like people in comedy talking about you can't say anything anymore. It's like that's fucking bullshit. You can say what you want, but like there is. I do think some people are attracted to like just saying fucked up shit for the fuck. Like the people who complain about it. Let's be honest, they're fucking hack and they just want to get a laugh for being either racist or homophobic or yeah. they don't want to say they don't want to have a joke job. behind it, it's right? They want to be shocking. Like, it ain't writing. It but ain't also writing. the other extreme of comedy, I don't find funny either, where it's like too like they're just making good points that you agree with. Oh yeah, we call it Rothanuling. <laughs> When you grabbing these fake pearls and you quiet on stage for four minutes trying to find you, get the fuck out of here, I'm man. Thinking. It was an interesting special. <laughs> it was I'm, shot very I'm nice. Writing so, you it know. Right, now. <laughs> right, right, right. It, it no. could have, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but I get it. No, no, no. But absolutely, though, they're like the the other extreme of like you're just like. It's not. It's not fucking appealing to me. You know yeah, what I mean? Then to a lot of regular to the especially. To a 22-year-old that's getting into Andrew Tate, that's not appealing to them either. So it's like, I don't know. Like, uh, you know, I'd like to maybe be in the, he'd be in the fucking, you know, he'd be into the pod. But there's shit out there. The problem is, though, he's 22. And I hate to be the guy who's like, he's got to kind of take his own Yeah, man, that motherfucker full of Mountain Dew right now. You got to let him. <laughs> it's, it's tough. 22 to 20. 22 full of Mountain Dew. This motherfucker got to go fall off his horse, but man. maybe, maybe someone will open up a nice rehab for podcast listeners in the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tater tots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where everything comes down to a crawl. I think, I think the sports <laughs> thing is still interesting. I mean, I never really played sports. And looking back, like, I'm like, damn, that would have been like a valuable, like, just like experience and learning how to like socialize with people. I mean, absolutely. I feel, I feel like all the sports you played in a way that like, set you up nicely for, like, how to move in comedy because that's what yeah. it is. You're, like, interacting with a bunch of different people from different yeah. backgrounds. Totally, totally, Just totally. learning how to relate to them, so... That's a great point, too, the dif- the diversity of it because it's, like, sports really is the most, like, like anyone who can do it yeah. can be on the fucking team. Well, you can also, be an immigrant. You can, you can not even speak fucking English. And, like, I mean, it's a little different for us. We grew up in Baltimore, so we saw people from different walks of life, whatever... But, like, for this guy, if he is, like, sheltered and doesn't know, like, uh, yeah. people from other backgrounds, and yeah, it could be interesting. Like, even just, even a pickup run in, like, a fucking gym, you meet people. Well, here's yeah. the thing, too, that sports does for you. It teaches you how to size up other people. So, like, whatever your shortcomings are, you're going to have to get over that. You know what I mean? Because you in here, if you're a team player, yeah. you don't want your team down. So, yeah. let's say you're playing basketball and this guy, he's got height on you. Okay, you better figure something else out and don't, you know what I mean? So... That's a skill that helps you out in life where you're less intimidated by people because you learn how to size shit up. And it's also, let's be honest, a social lubricant. Everyone, wow. most people can talk about sports, right? Yeah, if yeah, you yeah. you need to just like, like, believe me, it's a lot better thing to bring up at a party, talk about the Knicks than like how, <laughs> you know, it's a lot easier to talk about that than like how fucking trans people have... <laughs> Are insane. You know what yeah. I mean. You know, women like, are emasculating women, men yeah, all exactly. over this country. Don't women, you think? Women don't deserve basic <laughs> rights over their body. Yeah. Like it's a lot better to be yeah. like, hey, I, or you think the Jets are going to get Aaron Rodgers? Yeah. That's so a much it's better easy thing to talk about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that's the thing. It's like this Andrew Tate shit has become like they've become ner- like like you've taken all the worst parts of nerds and the worst parts of jocks. 
and mash them together. <laughs> yeah. And it's like aggressive, misogynistic guys that don't really know how to talk to women or see them as people, but they're strong and mad. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, and they're like, it's just like, it's bad. It's, and they're on the computer all the fucking day and they don't know how to talk yeah. to anyone in real life. It really is fucking horrific. Like the fact that I didn't realize, like Tate shit started showing up a lot in my algorithm on YouTube. And the fact that I was not aware, like, oh, this guy has been in jail for the past three months, but... For rape. Every... <laughs> for sex trafficking. There was so much content coming yeah. up in the algorithm. Yeah, that's like, what it this was. guy was putting yeah. shit out every day. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So he's already flooded the internet with so much content. And it's so stupid. Like, what was that video, Elders, where he's talking about chugging water? Oh, yeah. He was, he was like, <laughs> he was like, how can you be a man and be thirsty and you sip water? <laughs> Walk around with a bottle of water. We'll put the cap on. He's like, "Well, I'm thirsty. I fucking crush water." Like it's like it's not water. everything. Like it's, it's gay to drink water. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck am I supposed to drink? Yeah. <laughs> it's gay to uh, sip water. Not drink motherfuckers a don't have no outs. Motherfuckers yeah. don't. They don't have no answers. Yeah. It's like, oh, go to the gym, work out, discipline. Yeah, she'd be like, "Come on, Top G." Yeah, <laughs> it's just water. And and the, and the hard thing is, it's like working out and getting into even martial arts. It's like it's not bad. Like physical stuff is good for you, but it's like that combination of this going down that like yeah, because you're hitting somebody. Yeah, you 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 getting some kind of. It is weird that that's kind of gotten in there. Even like the UFC stuff has a lot. Like I think. I think like a lot of it is fucking, you know, it's cool and it's interesting to watch, but there definitely is like a subculture that is like, you know, it's like a little too aggressive and, and like conservative in these like weird, like almost like like neo-fascist ways where it's yeah. like, what the fuck's going on I even on think here? like a lot of bitch ass dudes have found out a way to give themselves cauliflower ear. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Cosmetic cauliflower ear. so fucking That's a, funny. <laughs> now you gotta sit under the lamps. <laughs> That's crazy. Let me give myself cauliflower ear. A BBL for dudes. <laughs> <laughs> cauliflower ear. Uh, good luck. Let us know how it goes. Yeah, man. Hit us with another one, Big LD. I'm going to have to piss on this place. <laughs> okay, man. That's fine. Hey, Stav. Calling in, man, Eric. Looking for some relationship advice. Uh -huh. So last year, around this time, around February, um, I went in to get a neck surgery. Um, it was similar to like a pacemaker. It would help with nerve pain from a car accident years ago. Okay. And the doctor fucked up and shocked my spinal cord. Damn. And paralyzed me from the neck oh, down. shit. And I've been grinding and trying to get better. Yes, it's okay to make fun of it. It is kind of funny, <laughs> but it does suck. Jesus Christ. You got your ass um, fucked, but, So I've gotten my arms back. I've gotten my right leg back. Good my left you. leg's now back. So I'm still in a wheelchair. How the hell do I get back out there in the dating world as a single man? Wow. Um, it's easy to talk about, and people obviously ask you about what happened, but it kind of ends after that. Nothing really matures from there. I'm a decent-looking guy. Nothing nothing crazy, nothing bad, nothing good, whatever. Um, I've done my fair share in the past years. Did very well with women, but now I'm handicapped. So it's a big difference. So uh, what do I do? Um, a couple ideas. It's a couple things right off the top of my head. It's hilarious how much getting pussy means to men. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. That is like... That is like... That's, like, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm, I'm saying. You, back. you were paralyzed. You got your arms you back. You got half your body and back. And you're like, how am I going to talk to girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucking... Are you You know how much harder that is? Uh-huh. I'm paralyzed from the neck down. It's, uh, it's done, dude. I'm learning how to play PlayStation with my tongue. If that happens yeah. to me. I'm not in... I'm done. Pussy? Like, What's you're, that about? You're a fucking G, dude. What the fuck? Is pussy um, gonna give me my feeling back and yeah. my toes? And also, by the my way, so, sounds like your mouth work. You know what I'm saying? You probably you, go, you should you. be great at eating pussy. You'd think there you're you probably go. fucking pushing around your wheelchair with your tongue for a couple months. All you gotta do is just position me, lady. Yeah. <laughs> Carry yeah. me from the chair and lay me something down on the bed. Set it up like a camera. Yeah. And I gotcha. <laughs> I don't even do filters, bitch. <laughs> I 
I do something. I use sound my face. Like, <laughs> like the determination I got. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I'm blinded exactly. I'm walking again. Check for every crying month. Out loud. Yeah, I'm dude. fucked up. I get disability checks. Well, that's that's the other thing. You didn't get a nice settlement from this cocksucker? Yeah, the doctor which, might have fucked him. And that's the thing. You're clearly... Like, I don't want to do... I mean, I recognize the area code, so I know what county this is. Oh, okay, in. all right. And I'm going to tell you something about Delaware County. Uh, as long as you got some sort of check coming in, these ladies is going to suck. Go. <laughs> as long oh, as ladies. you got a little check. Yeah, man. I, Just a little check. I lived in Delaware County for a while. I don't think they're too picky about doing the Delaware code don't yeah, give a fuck. I've seen chicks pushing dudes to concerts and everything. You know what Delco I mean? Delco like, girls... Fuck them handicaps. Yes. <laughs> That's right. No, I mean, dude, okay, so, yeah, it's like you've already accomplished so much. And, I, again, I assume you're getting some kind of settlement here. That would be crazy if you're if you not. you did not, yeah. So and, you shocked your spine. And you've done so much, dude, that it's like an inspirational story. You don't, you're, you're like, it's okay to make fun of it. That's good. You have a sense of humor about yourself. You're not, you like, as long as you're ready and fully, at some point you're just going to have to realize the rehab situation ends and the and the like trying to get better ends and it's like time to live life and once you've made that decision it's like you don't feel sorry for yourself you see it for what it is right mm -hmm. and and i think you're already on such a great like the fact you got your arms back you're getting your leg back yeah maybe realistically the time to worry about fucking isn't yet. Yeah. Maybe you still want to focus feel... on that other leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are we stopping at three extremities? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get, get the fourth all going. Your yeah. Other shit back <laughs> before we start dealing with fuck it. There's God three, damn. Guys, yeah. there's, guys, there's three legs. We're working on the little one first. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It sounds like your dick works. Yeah. That's and, so funny. And this is also why it's crazy you can't, like, why sex work is criminalized in America. It's like, this is a perfect situation where, like, uh, an escort or, like, so, like, yeah, this guy's like, you know what? I still have rehab to do. I can't, I can't focus on, like, dating right now. Yeah. But I'd like some intimacy, some companionship. Why the fuck is it illegal in America to, like, so, there's, there's people that want to do that work, yeah. and they could do it safer and not get murdered all the time, and they could have, like, help guys like this out or other guys, you know, other people in different yeah. situations. It's because that really seems like this, the thing here is, like, you really just want to get your dick sucked. It doesn't sound yeah, like you're man. ready for anything serious. Yeah, yeah. man. Which, imagine, <laughs> imagine getting that talk with this, from this guy. He's like, yeah, I'm just trying to kind of keep it cash right now. Yeah. After she's, like, fucking wheeled you. To fucking cheesecake factory. Yeah, he trying to get back out there. No, no man, on. you just need clinical intimacy. Oh, yeah. You just need some pharmacy puss. Yeah. But but yeah, the reality is once you're once you are ready to go, okay. you just got to treat it like anything. You know, just and here's the dating sucks in general, right? It's not. Don't get too hung up on like your situation when you have decided you're ready to really give it a shot and you want this to be a, a priority for you. That's just how it goes. You're going to go on some dates. Some are going to work. Some are not going to work. But there's somebody out there. Like, don't be, a, you know, don't be so hard on yourself and think that this is what's getting in the way. Because I got news for you. You might have a bad personality, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like. Yeah, especially it's, you're talking like that. And women, by the way, will put up with so much bullshit if they like you. Yeah. That's the thing. If you're a woman here, it's harder for you. Like, being in. If, if the genders are flipped. Like, and I'm not saying there's not men who'd fuck you. They're there. They're there's there. men that'll fuck you fast if you're in a wheelchair of your woman. <laughs> but are they your husband material? I don't know about Probably that, not. right? So Probably for you, not. for you, like, we are lucky as men that it's like women really do have a, a higher capacity for love and, and letting shit they do. go. They do, have a big heart. And so you're fine, bro. You just got to believe in yourself when you're ready to get out there. And we believe in you. I'm hoping you got a little check from the fucking settlement. Yeah, That'd man, be that's crazy if you crazy. didn't. Don't lie to um, these women, though. Put your chair in the picture. Yeah, absolutely. Put your chair in the picture. <laughs> Don't you play the Bengals. Do not show that goddamn chair. Don't use Don't a picture you from your college gals. graduation. Don't you con these Post gals. Post incident <laughs> pictures on Tinder that's only. Right. Let them make their decision, man. Because if they're not going to fuck with you because of the picture of you in the chair, it wasn't going to go well anyway. Yeah, so just exactly. save yourself that. Be honest. Be upfront with it, Be man. Be upfront. Exactly. Or do a little trick. Yeah. <laughs> so like a spin move. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Learn cool moves. All right. All right, Big Eldo. Uh, hey, Fabi. Big fan. Um, I have a relationship question I was hoping to get some input on from someone like uh, your caliber. 
Of course. Uh, so I've been dating this girl for Doing. a while now. Um, only thing was, she I wasn't exclusive on my end <laughs> at <laughs> first, and then you know it, uh, it evolved into exclusivity on her end. But Uh-oh. sounds like she's uh, she thought I was exclusive <laughs> on my end, and uh, you know I wasn't. But now I am. Uh, do I bring that up, or uh, do I like okay. like how do I how do Wait. I broach that subject? Because um, I, I really don't know how to say like, hey, uh, even though we started off casual and became serious, I was effectively cheating on you uh, for over a okay. year. Yeah, you probably should. Really say. appreciate some feedback on this. Love you. Okay, Bye. hold on. What, what are you talking about here? <laughs> Effective. The word effectively yeah. cheating on you. Effectively is doing a lot of lifting in that I think sentence. It's corporate. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like either you were or you weren't, motherfucker. Don't don't. Get, yeah, he really is giving us jargon right now. <laughs> where he's like, you know, exclusivity on her end, but yeah. not on my, my end. end. <laughs> yeah, this guy. This guy. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's hard for me to not think you suck. By yeah. the way, you're talking about this. You're, you're talking like a finance guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like a fight I talk. This is yeah. a fight I paragraph. So look, if you ever, ha- like you said you guys were for a year, she thought you were exclusive and you weren't. Hmm. What does that even mean? How often did you see each other? Is this somebody you hook up with once a month for a year? That's a lot different than we saw each other twice a week for a year. Like, well, and, I had moved in. And, and yeah, and she, and she was sleeping sides. over, and we were, like, you need to, we're not the answer here. We, you, This guy's calling in for us to absolve him of his sins. Yeah. Oh, wow. But what you need to do is really think, effect, take effectively out of it, were you cheating on her? Does she have, did you ever, did you have a conversation? I mean, it sounds like you never had a conversation, but... Was your behavior that of somebody who was in a relationship? Are you going out? Are you meeting your friends? Are you, God forbid, meeting family? Are you, you know, how serious were you being? Now, look, technically, are you okay? It sounds like technically you are. Yeah. But. He just got over. But also, what do you mean she thinks it was exclusive on her end? How do you know that? Did she just say, hey, it was really cool how we never fucked anybody else last year? <laughs> like, that's not, there's no way that happened. Right? So it's like, what are you, how are you coming it's up like, with this? Just laying on his chest one day. Yeah, yeah. So cool how yeah, it you was really fucked cool. anyone else but me in the past year, and I've only fucked you. I love your heartbeat. Like, was it, yeah. <laughs> Was it the kind of thing where she was like, do you want to be exclusive and you just play dead until she didn't ask you? <laughs> that's very funny. You know? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it is. Like, because yeah. cause like, if you ignored her, like, like you know, hints at being exclusive, like, <laughs> it's like, let's take, so be funny. honest about it, man. Did you cheat or didn't you cheat? Yeah, and if so you funny. cheated, like, what do you mean, how do I approach the subject? Like, I really don't understand what happened here. That's so funny. And, but yeah, and it sounds to me like you just needed to admit it somewhere, which is, you did it here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah and I man. think, you know, you could probably bury this here. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't understand go what the conversation is that you want to yeah. have. You know what I mean? Like, Well, because, I mean, I you, we've all been there, right, when we're dating someone, like, for the first couple months, and... You somebody has the usually usually the woman right, but some not always. I don't want to be sexist here. Okay, somebody has the conversation who or someone catches feeling. You know what? I wouldn't even say usually the woman. Someone catches feelings and they're like the the what are we conversation happens. You know, anywhere from if you're very if you're really gung ho about it, two weeks to like four months in. Right, mm-hmm. rarely is it one year. Of regular dating. Now it could be one year of like, we've all had like hookups that maybe evolved into something, and you're yeah. like, hey, why don't we try this, right? But it doesn't. Who did you have the conversation? Because if not, it sounds like you were lying to her. So I don't know. I'm just confused. Like, if she did, you guys ever have a conversation that was like, okay, this is fun. We should try being exclusive. And then you was and then you after fucked it. after. Because then yes, there's no effective. There's no, com- there's no smoke screens here. Like you were cheating. Yeah. But if you didn't, then you probably weren't technically cheating. But she probably was assuming that you weren't fucking other people. This is also what I think it might be. Okay. Is the condom came off at some point, mm. which usually uh, implies no. exclusivity. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's reaping the benefits the of condomless sex. <laughs> 
That's just called the unveiling. And yeah. he knows, like, ah. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, once a girl lets you do that, sure. you're not really, you're never right. going to go, hey, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm seeing other people. Yeah, should, yeah, 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 yeah. We should probably put a little we barrier between this back on. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, yeah, is, yeah. I'm getting the benefits He's of like, wow. sex. He's like, wow, you've chosen me to be the guy you <laughs> fuck without a condom. <laughs> I'm touched. And uh, you know what? You, I will fuck everyone else with a condom as well. Right, right. But you have really bad judgment. Yeah. And I should probably put the condom on with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, look, either call back and tell us what's going on here or be honest with yourself. But if, if, you, if she never brings it up, like, it sounds like you really feel guilty is really what That's this comes what down that is. to. Yeah, Effectively. Yeah, yeah. Like and so, if you if you did and you really care about this girl, and you do want to be exclusive and you do want to give this a shot, and you feel guilty, you should be like, I mean, have you had the exclusivity conversation? Hmm. I just I just don't get what you're going. Has going she brought on here. up exclusivity? It sounds like yes now. On her end, that's still very vague. I know. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Because I got to be honest, it sounds like you were cheating. I'll get a little sexist here. I'll say girls need to understand. Like, yeah. Oh, Elvis <laughs> Tate. There you go. <laughs> oh, yes! yeah. 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 Girls need to understand, like, if you don't, like, have the talk about it explicitly, it will not hold up in the court of law. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this guy needs to push his guilt down. <laughs> if, if they never Bottle talked about shit it, up. shock it up to a big misunderstanding and look forward to the future. Now you know you're exclusive and... Okay, that's fair, but speaking as someone who had a relationship that went from on again, off again, casual to like serious, you're, you will pay the reaper at some point. Yeah. Like that will come up, something will happen, and if you're serious about this, you should clear the air. Now, If he feels he's done something wrong... He should clear the air at the beginning of the relationship because it's either going to work now or it won't work. A, yeah. a year is crazy to do that without like just letting your own guilt eat at you or something. Of course. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of impressive that this guy <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. just he's, lied yeah, to man. himself for that yeah, long. Yeah, he's just funny so too. At, at think about this. I started dating a girl at like the beginning of the pandemic, like right before the pandemic started. Yeah. Right? And again, it wasn't exclusive, but it became exclusive yeah. during, the, during pandemic. the pandemic. Sure. And then when things started to open up, the evidence of that non-exclusivity became apparent. Right. Like I'll never forget being out with my girl and there was another girl that I was dealing with who was just around. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. And she wasn't making a scene or anything. But afterwards, we're having a conversation and we're just like, yeah, and that was cool and ran into such and such and such and such. And yeah, this person was cool. And I casually bring up the person and my girl goes, yeah, and you fucked her. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> and she's like, oh, no, that was obvious. You know what I mean? Wow. You can tell by the way that person was in your space yeah, yeah, and the yeah, way that they yeah. respond to you and the right. way that they were following you around the room. You guys have fucked before. Damn. So, you know, it is one of those things where he might be worried about those walls closing in on. Sure, sure. Yeah, man. Oh, that's Ooh. true. Good point. Yeah, dude, I mean, look, you haven't given us enough information. That's your fault for treating us like we are your girlfriend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, like, ah, you sh <laughs> This motherfucker <laughs> effectively <laughs> can <laughs> shit out. Yeah. If you don't get the fuck out of here, yeah, yeah, yeah. you treat us like your girl. Yeah. So, we grown ass men. Yeah, we gonna so tolerate you, that shit. You, <laughs> you could have left the on her ends and the <laughs> effectiveness. What is on these ends, You could have You could have left what that out. What spectrum shit is you on? He tried to explain yeah. it to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried to mansplain a bunch of dudes. You, you could have just told us what happened. <laughs> But you chose not to, and that's why you're getting this kind of muddled uh, advice. But oh, shit. I do think, in general, your options are push it down if it, if you think Bottle it won't hold. Up. If you think it won't come up again, and it and it will hold in court. But I also I hate to be this guy who's like, to be realistic, you're kind of building your house on an Indian burial ground. <laughs> If you do that. Die. So, like, figure, like, your choices are push it down and probably the relationship is doomed or deal with it now. Before the walls start bleeding. Yeah, deal with it now. <laughs> and it might not survive, but if it does survive, yes. If it does survive, at least you won't be living in poltergeist. Yeah, absolutely. Um, good, good reference. Very yeah. good reference. <laughs> All right, you guys have time for one more? What do you say, fellas? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do one more. One more. I got to pee soon, so yeah. Yeah.
Great episode, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks and listen, for listen to the funny. podcast, guys. No need for apologies. Yeah. No need for apologies. Hit us with the hit us with take us home, Eldis. Hey, Gustavi. Uh, hope you're doing well on tour. Hope you're getting all the the pussy you've wanted Thank for you your so entire much. life. I've gotten um, a nice amount. Maybe not all of it. I but. just need a little bit of advice on a friend of mine. I've got this like girl group I hang out with consistently. It's like four of us. We always go out to bars and shit like that together. But there's just like one girl in the group who is just always oh, trying no. to start fights and will find literally any fucking reason to like make everybody upset. Like, Remind you of anyone, all Dave? Able to hang yeah, mine. Like, <laughs> oh, like, oh, we just want to give up our priorities or our lifestyles to hang out with her. So. Do you have any advice on how to either get her to stop doing that or just like get her out of the friend group entirely? I would really appreciate it. Wow. Kick her out of the friend group. Uh, Sounds like somebody just turned twenty four. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's <laughs> That's what this question feels like. <laughs> Growing <laughs> up is so hard yeah, to yeah, yeah. get rid of this friend. Yeah. yeah. I mean this is a natural evolution of life. <laughs> yeah. You are gonna peel off pieces of shit. Yeah. You were too drunk for the last couple years of your life to realize what a what a fucking piece of shit this lady was. So it's starting to dawn on you. And look, that's what it is, man. It's like how many friends have like me and Elders again, we've been friends our whole lives. A lot of people have come and gone. A lot of people have been in the like crew that yeah. have peeled off, that have done a have f done a fucked up thing to one of us, or tried a shady thing here, or started a fight there, or fucking you know just been a bad, proving themselves to be a bad hang yeah. Yeah. ten times in a row. I hate a bad. And hang. you're like, all right, <laughs> this, it, it's not yeah. a fluke. You ten out of ten. You gotta go. You gotta get the fuck like, out of here. We've it, we yeah. finally hung out sober ten times in a row, and I finally realized you're a piece of shit. It's you gotta you. go. Yeah, it's you. And so <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's like, uh, like you can certainly try if this person is a close friend of yours, but it doesn't sound like it from, sound like it. from mm -mm. your, from your, just one girl in the group. Yeah. yeah. It really feels like this is a natural thing that you, she, this bitch is going to get iced out. Yeah. She's going to meet other train wrecks. <laughs> she's possibly going to become a single, uh, absentee single mother. <laughs> Like she's got she's got her path, you've got yours. Like all right. I guarantee you this is the kind of girl that switches jobs and when you go, Oh, how come you don't work over there? Oh, you know, they was hating on me over there. Right. <laughs> Wait, what? They do that in jobs? They hate <laughs> Some place you clock in and pay, they pay you, they, they hate, that, that's in their contract. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, you're shit. so right, dude. Yeah. Or like that, or like all her other friends were crazy, or mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? It's just like, this is somebody that's got, just, again, I don't know your age, it would have helped us, but that, my hunch is, this is, you're in that period after college, when you are starting to settle into who you actually are, and a lot of people are gonna just go. Yeah. And some of it is sad, like, it's hard in, Amer like, America's a tough country in terms of when people live in the burbs, like, when people, when you're, you're more isolated and you lose friends, but, like, speaking for me, where I live in a big city, you know, all this shit, it's like, and, you know, my job is very social, like, I've lost a lot of friends, but I've made, I've also found people I'm actually compatible with. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, there is something sad to peeling some of those guys, people off, but there's something nice about being like, hey, this is who I actually like being around. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. this is who I want to spend my time with. And like, yeah, hang out with somebody you hate. There's, there was so much of that growing up. Remember, like, I, we had friends when we were teenagers that we disliked. Yeah. <laughs> that we saw every day and went to parties with, and we were like, shut up, fucking idiot. Yeah. But he was in my life constantly. Like, that shit Ooh. just happened when you're young. And now, and you, the older you get, the more you're like, why am I doing this? Dude, I was just talking about yeah, this. There was a guy in small. my neighborhood who I was friends with. I mean, we yeah. were friends. We got the same tattoo on our arm. We were yeah. crew. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But after high school, he just wasn't doing anything yeah and he knew it yeah and he lived across the street from the main store in the neighborhood so this guy would be in front of his house just right. dribbling a basketball right 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 so it's like if you're going to the store to you'd get see it, him he, he's he running right up on you yeah yeah and yeah. then like he would he Good would real hone estate. in on people where once he kind of followed you to the store and had a good interaction with you and kind of followed you home and figured out where you lived 
He starts showing up as you're doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, First dude. thing in the morning, yo, what's the moves today? Yeah, yeah, holy yeah, shit, yeah. are what's we friends now? Today? You know what I mean? And yeah. that's what's kind of how he today? became your friend. Yeah. But you slowly realize, oh, this guy, does, he has no aspirations on leaving the block right, or the neighborhood. Right, and right. he's trying he's to hold everybody hang. in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, certainly there's, so, there's neighborhood. Like, that's the thing. That's neighborhood shit, right? Yeah. You just have people just because where you grew up. And yeah, we saw a lot of my friends were like that when I was younger, right? And then you go to college and you have your college friends because you went to the same, because you happen to be in the same dorm freshman year and those are your friends for the next four years. <laughs> and then it's like, and then slowly, and then it's like you have your, you, so some of them make, some high school friends make it to college and then some college friends make it to adulthood. And it's like, but a lot of them bleed off, right? Yeah, and it's like, this lady just feels, this girl feels like she's going to bleed off out of your life. You you might, here's the other thing. There's nothing more freeing than when you bring this to the other people in the group <laughs> and everyone's on board. <laughs> yeah. And everyone's like, it's hey. It's a unanimous vote. Hey, hey, should we just not invite and Maria? And they just create a new group chat. <laughs> they just move over. New group chat. That's what they call it. Yeah, yeah. Without this bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's exactly. what the name of the chat is called. Without this yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, yeah. what are yeah. you talking about? Yeah. Just move over. Just move I'm one pretty over. sure this girl is already ruining the group chat with her Android phone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, green bubble. Bitch, get this green shit off the group chat. Green is right. So, yeah, absolutely. So look, it's it is it is thrilling though, right? Because it is a little bit like you're doing like you're doing a coup, like you're gonna overthrow a dictator. Yeah, yeah where it's yeah. like you just kind of start putting feelers out there. You maybe yeah, just you maybe just roast her once, and you see how hard they laugh. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's how it begins. Yeah. I feel like this girl is late to things, so just you know, throw it out there when all yeah. the other girls get there at the yeah. table. That way, it's yeah. it's in person. Yes. There's no digital. Yes. There's no digital yeah. receipt to show that you initiated this. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. hey. Hey, guys. Damn, pull up a chair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Actually, we were thinking we're too tired to go to the diner today. <laughs> and then text them from your car. Yeah. You know, actually, I'm hungry. Yeah. Uh, That's great. Yeah. yeah do it with that with her. Get in the car. Do something yeah. else. <laughs> yeah, but this Give is a mega dress. Honestly, it's kind, this is kind of cute. This is like watching a baby walk for the first time. Okay. Like seeing this question, it's kind of cute. I'm like, oh, this is the first time this is happening to her. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, bro. It's honest. I got to say, I'm also, now I will also be fair and, and highlight my own biases. Eldest will tell you, I am very pro cutting someone off. I, I got the fuck it. I'll chop someone out of the group fast. Nice. Right. Nice. That is, that is my style. But I'm also, another thing I'll tell you, the people that are in, I'm, like those are my fucking guys. Absolutely, yeah. I'm as loyal as exactly it gets to the like means. to the like top eight in my life. Yeah, but it's like it is hard to get into like the the central group, and then it's but it is easy like when you get a tryout. If you're being a dumb bitch, you're out. Yeah. So that yeah. is a little bit of me, but I also think this is just a general this is just a general life thing where it's like you start cutting people out and it feels fucking awesome. Feels good. You lighten the load. No one, you're not getting, yeah, no bouncers are kicking you out. You're not having to go back and get her debit card the next morning. Like, shit's, you're going to be fine. Nice. So, good for you. We're rooting she didn't for take you. take some black dude's hat. <laughs> Do you play football? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Why are you guys stopping me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so great. He likes it. What are you talking about? Awesome. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh fuck. So yeah, good luck with it. And uh, look, it's nice. It's it's a, it's cute that you're you're growing. This is honestly growing up. Um, that's gonna do it for us, folks. Guys, thank you. Man, Dave, Derek, bro. such a fun episode. You guys jokes are great. On jokes on this jokes on jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back sometime when we're doing our next batch for sure. We'd love to have you guys back. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, listen to the podcast, guys. Follow our friends here on socials. And uh, call 904-800-STOV if you want to uh, leave a voicemail for the future. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye. <laughs>